If you want to talk to me live, tell me how you feel. Tell me what's on your mind. Get it off your chest. Download the Caffeine app. Caffeine.tv slash Queens Flip. Tuesdays and Fridays, the callers, 10 p.m. until. Call live. 646-756-5080. The callers. Caffeine. Tuesdays, Fridays, 10 p.m. Download now. It's overdue, man. I, I think today is that's why it's gonna be a classic. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. You just like when they come at me because that's it, G. I ain't gonna come at you though. <laughs> I'm gonna let you live. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real, like you know not to play with me though. I'm I do. Like, yeah, you know. Oh, and, and, man. Nah, like, we, like, 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 like blood in, blood out. Like we've been this partners. No, no, like you know no, not no, to play. No, no, no. I, I hear that. And I hear that. I hear that. I, that's good. It's tough talk, right? Yeah, you, you got muscles too. Now I see you working out. You know, I you face, not, you not, face. Now hold on, let me finish. You Facetime okay. me. You know what I'm right. saying? Working out. You had workout. Mm-hmm. Cool. But so, and you I'm, like that? I recorded that whole <laughs> sucker. <laughs> the whole Facetime. I recorded that whole sneaky. Gotta trap you because you get away with a lot. I don't know. You get away. Bido told me. I had to. I didn't believe him, but you get away with a lot. Hey man, yeah. it's all good, man. So can we start our show? Hey, let's start it. Is it. All right. This this episode is the. Uh... That's not how it goes, bro. Hold on. Hold no. on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't, don't switch it. No, no, no. Don't do that. No. Let's, don't do that. Let, 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 let's do our introduction. Going? Let's do our introduction. Hold let's, on. Let's do the introduction. Yeah. Welcome to the Mano. In Queens Flip Show. Yo, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't, do like ju- we don't do it just like that. First of all, like, chill out, boo out, slow out. down, drink your water. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, can we start, G-Money, you ready? Let's go, man. G-Money! Yo. Come on, man, I'm, I'm, I'm upset right now. How you feeling, Wabba? Because there's somebody in here that annoys me, man, but I'm, I'm excited at the same time, pause. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this episode's overdue, man. We waiting for a long time for this one. It's gonna be a classic. It's gonna be a good one. Corny. Yeah, welcome to the main Yo, whoa, flip whoa, show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yo, Justice League. We didn't introduce episode you. Episode one. We didn't introduce you. <laughs> oh, I, th- I didn't know I needed one. We didn't introduce you. Mm. Yo, man, what, uh, you know how know much I, I, I didn't you... know I needed right, one. I'm gonna let you finish. This is not gonna be like your regular. Mm. So let's not even start it regular. You just played a sound effect for that suck. Yeah. Yeah. Justice League. It's the first episode. What we talking about? G Money. Yo. Anyway, how you doing? You all right? I'm cool, man. I ain't paying I'm attention cool. to that, that Brooklyn talk. How you doing? How the family, man? Family's good. I seen family you good. handle niggas on this show. <laughs> I, seen, I seen you get up, walk over there on niggas. <laughs> seen you niggas put, put hands on niggas on this show. Oh, I enjoy it, man. <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Don't do me. Every, every Why bit, you doing every this, bro? I, Let me do my how I do it, man. This is a different show because, it, listen, if I if, if if I come up here, because I don't, I don't really do podcasts, mm. right? And because I'm coming up here because of our relationship, then it can't be regular. So we ain't doing it regular. Episode number one. Let's get it. <laughs> G-Money, don't let him do that. Anyway, you good? I'm your all right, weekend man. was all right? Weekend was cool. Yo, well, your week? Because you got me messed up. Week, yeah, yeah, week was good. You know, Dawson's where that's what it's about right now. You know what I'm saying? So Proud of you, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Sucker. He's a sucker, man. <laughs> G Money, yo! Episode one five seven, nigga, nigga we, we made, made it. it. We got a special guest, McFoolington. <laughs> I like the sound effects. Thank you, thank you. Yo, I like the sound effects. Yo, yo I'm a, episode what? One fifty seven. One hundred and fifty seven episodes. Yeah, you had one hundred and fifty seven episodes. When was you? When did you start filming? Yo, can you? Can you? Sixties. <laughs> one hundred and fifty seven. What? I'm supposed to have more. We, we had a lot. We, we had a lot a of. Uh, nah, nah. We, <laughs> Be doing it for a long time. Put out? One a week? Why are you talking to me? It's just a question. I, 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 that's all. I'm looking <laughs> Yo, for information. Why are you talking to me like that though? Just so a loud. How many episodes you? you know, how many? How many? Because listen, I'm I'm working on my new podcast, my own podcast. But how many episodes do you put out a week? Depends. We started a couple years ago though, so yes. we're doing. Yeah, damn, it's in the game. Yeah, we're we, fifty-seven. We're doing it for a little minute. You talk on the mic, man. Make sure you transition your voice to the mic. Paul. You should have mic. These, these should be high power mics. They look they look special to me. Yeah. They better than my mics. Yeah, because you had them bull ass. Yeah. 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 And you know, yeah. What? I, I, listen, when I went to somebody and I said, listen, I want to do this podcast in my house. I'm going to call the kitchen talk. I'm going to shoot in my, that's really my kitchen. Right? So I said, look, just send me a list of all the stuff I need. And that was in the list. 
Those are mice we had at first. We had the little. Oh, no, we did. No? Oh, I don't like that. Name. No, let's yeah, see. No, first. I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade. He's talking about the oh, yeah. mics that you have on the stage. Nigga. Yeah, I got oh, the those mics. Oh, okay. Yeah, he got that. But I got the covers <laughs> over them now. Corny, I got covers <laughs> over them now. Let me tell you something. I'm going to give you advice. Go on Zounds. No, Z -Z. You know, that's not, that's not, you're not going to give me the advice. What you're going to do is you're going to give me the link. Just give me the link. Just give me the link to where I got to get it from. I'm trying to help it. you get mics. Couple no, mics that's it. Just give me the link. Who are you just, checking like that? It's, it's not a check. And the fact that you feel like it's a check, is that, that just means that you feel inferior. I don't want you to feel that way because I'm here, bro. I'm You my little nigga. It's all good. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yo, man, I like your little I love you, man. Yo, man, chill out. I love you. Move I know you're happy I'm here. I am happy. I know you're happy. We great friends. We, we great friends. Yeah, so, so here's the thing. Just give me the link. I, I want the these link. mics right here. <laughs> I want these mics. <laughs> These more, we, we need these mics, right? This is, this I'll is send you the link. Here. Send me the link. So you don't want me to talk about it publicly. You want me to just, just send them. me the link. It's all good. I'll send you the link. link. Hold on, give me a second. You know something right now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, G, you can talk to him, G. Yeah, I'm sending him. He's corny. I'm out there. <laughs> <laughs> he corny, G. That's what I'm saying. You send it. Nah, I ain't sending you. my son right here. Who? I'm not your son. I'm your friend. <laughs> It's sort of similar. All right. What up, though, man? What's, What's happening? What are we talking about? So, you know, first I want to ask you, like, what took you so long to come to the podcast? We, we, you know, we, we've been traveling um, up for a couple of years now. You know, we let you know. It's been years? It's been a couple of years. I feel like you, you reached years. out. It's been two years since you've been asking me to come here? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't, I don't, don't recall it that way. We I'm, spoke to you. We told you that we, we in the same studio you used to be in. And this is, yada, this yada, is, yada, my, this is my old studio. This is my old studio. I was here for three and a half years. <clears throat> Did a lot of work out of here. This particular room is my. Uh, oh God! This is my old sex room. This is my old sex dungeon. Yeah, G. <laughs> G, what the f Yo, G. Actually, <laughs> actually, this is the this this couch. We put this couch to work. Nah, that's a that's new it. couch that I bought. I, I got the receipts. Like the same couch to me, bro. <laughs> put this couch to Yo, work. Why you why you keep doing that though? Oh, I had somebody here and she said that. Like, stop doing that. Mm. Her, like, like chill. Like you you do you put out these narratives and you it know that corner that y'all sitting in right oh. there. You know that. The oh, lemon head. You know the pain that I put in over there? <laughs> Which corner? This corner right here or that corner? Both corners? That, both corners. Like, this, this old shit, boy. Mm. Yeah, you got crazy in here. Anybody we know? Oh, snap. More than likely, but I mean, mm -hmm. that's a different podcast. Um, <laughs> That's that's Mano After Dark. Heard you. What's happening? I'm so so, so what took so long for you to come to our, to our show, um, man? What's up? You know, I don't... The podcast world is kind of... I'm kind of new to it, man. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm kind of, I'm kind of new to the podcast world. I didn't, I, I wanted to come, but I always wanted to come when I, when, when, when I knew I was going on and I got stuff to talk about, I didn't want to just come just to, just to come, but I always gave him my word that I would. It mm -hmm. wasn't like I was holding back specifically just because I didn't want to come. Right. And then a lot, I didn't really understand because everybody got a podcast and everybody got something to say. I go on YouTube and it's all these professional gangs and all these professional street niggas and Everybody got a, an opinion on shit and everybody is talking. So I was just trying to really understand what it was and where it was going because my problem with today is that it's so easy to just say anything. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to just talk and just say anything. And then there's a there's a listener for everything. So if you come out and say, yo, I was I was sleeping with Beyonce, you know. Years ago, like it's an audience that's it's somebody that's gonna want to believe that somebody's just gonna want to hear what he has to say. Right. Somebody's gonna want to interview. This. <clears throat> we don't we don't fact check these. We don't we don't check report cards, and we not hmm. and some of these niggas that's calling themselves journalists is not really being journalists, and they actually just listening to nonsense. You right. know. So I just wanted I wanted I wanted to you know watch it from my uh. From my own, you know, from my own point of view. Make sure it makes sense first. Yeah, make, what are these? These, these are album covers. Mm. I like that. Yo, nice. yo, don't worry about that, man. You love somebody you know. I'm gonna get to that later. Plenty mm. people I know in there. Yeah, yeah. Somebody you know well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. My boy G. Yo, so before we get into, you know, because you know, you know, Flip got a lot of wild questions he's gonna ask, and yeah, you know, yeah. before we get to all that, all that. You know, I feel like, you know, it's only right us having this platform, us being here today. We we address a little bit of what's going on right now. Right. And uh, you know, I, I seen a I seen a clip of you outside in the front line. I seen you right, you know. So I haven't protesting yet. I, I haven't been outside yet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I've been a little skeptical about it. You know what I'm saying? But Why? I wanted um one, because of the the whole corona stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's still 
And then two, I have a, I have a, I have a son, I have a six year old. Oh yeah, you gotta be so I'm like, do I want to go outside and and risk something happening to me being on the front line? And you know, so I haven't right. gone yet. I, I I may go out tomorrow and protest though. I pl- I plan to go tomorrow right. out in Queens. But um, you know, I wanted to hear from your mouth, being that you you you've been outside and you know, uh, just kind of. What's, what's the vibe out there? Like, how do you feel when you're outside? Like, you know, just give me your take on what's going on right now. Well, the city feels different, bro. <clears throat> the city feels different. And the energy, you know, I was inspired to go outside and see what it looked like and what it felt like. And I seen a lot of young people out there, really out there, you know, putting their lives and, and their freedom on the front line. And I felt like, this was this was really this is history that we that we sitting in right now, you know. Um, this year, what's going on right now in the country and what's going on in the world is never going to be forgotten about. Um, people are tired, homie. Yeah. People are tired, you know. Um, I don't care who you are. If you're a black man in this country. You felt what it felt like at some point in your life. Um, you felt your skin color, mm-hmm. and you knew that your skin color was a was was something that was used against you in some form or fashion, whether you was applying for a job or you was confronted with police or you was, you know, where, you know, in, in the work in the workplace, wherever you wherever you was at, you felt your skin color at some point in your life. So upon seeing generations of 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 instances where it's been injustice and, you know, the brutality, people were really, 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 really fed up, you know, and um and this is this is what we're seeing right now, and I I really feel like we should we should keep going, keep going. No, nah, I agree. Keep pushing. <clears throat> so tell me a, a, about a story that 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 you experienced personally that that you dealt with. You know, whether it's recently or ten years ago, or whatever. Like something that you your, your craziest moment of you dealing with something like like this. Like what? Like I've been like beat with, by police, broke broken arm, cold, all type. Where you gonna start? What was the craziest one that you felt like? What was the most memorable one to you? They all memorable because growing up, growing up, running from the police was like always something that we found ourselves doing. Mm. You understand? And it, and it almost feels natural. So you grow up in a ghetto and you grow up with this inbred hate and fear of the police. Mm. So you grow up knowing that these people not for us. Um, I I recall being chased at by police, shot at by police. Um, even when going into prison, beat by 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 uh, prison guards, all that called. Um, sitting in precincts, whole day hours, cold, interrogated. Um, and then not knowing that our rights back then was getting violated. Mm. You don't know that. Right. You don't know your rights. You don't you don't know that this man ain't supposed to be slapping you, disrespecting you, you know, putting his hands on you and um basically violating, you know, your your, your constitutional rights. But it's it's all memorable for me, bro. It's all it's all memorable, man. <laughs> Welcome, and I appreciate that. Now let me let me ask you a couple of questions <clears throat> before we get into what no, I really don't act like no pussy, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm asking you not to. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm never. Are you crazy? You know where I'm from. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Come on, I want to start like that. <laughs> okay. Tell us about your childhood, though, man. Don't go to Brooklyn. Bring us back there. I, my childhood was good, man, to to a certain degree. I loved growing up. Um, but it was ghetto. It was it was street. It was it was painful. It was fun. It was it was happy. It was sad. It was. I learned. I I lost. I felt. I loved. It was all those things. You understand? I can't say I had to. I would come from the worst family on the block. No, I didn't. Before my father started smoking crack, we we was we we was all right, hmm. right. And then drugs came, and then um, my family was affected by that directly. 
Um, I was talking to my home. I was talking to my homeboys the other day, and I was talking about a dude that may rest in peace. His name was Dooney, and I felt like he was bully. He used to bully us. Like they didn't call it bullying back then. It was just like it's part of life. And I remember he said something to me. He said, "Man, he said, man, your whole your whole family smoking. Your whole family on crack." <laughs> And I remember that, and I was just like, wow. He said that to me. But, you know, back then, things like that hurt, right? But what was so funny is that when you back then you looked around, you, and everybody's family was, was getting high. Mm -hmm. So it was like, it might, have been, it might not have been your mother or your father, but it was your uncle or your, your aunt. It was somebody. Everybody had somebody in their family that was getting high. Right. You understand? And... We 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 were the products of. We were the kids that that was growing up, under that, you know, idolizing the drug dealers and the drug laws and seeing what they was doing and being infatuated by the way they look, being infatuated by stories or you know um, the names of of certain dudes who who names just rang, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, we wanted to be that. And we strive to be that, you know? When you, re so you remember the time that your family, before they was on drugs? Like, you remember? Of course. Did you live in a certain part of Brooklyn? Like I'm from Notion. I grew up on Notion. I grew up I grew up on Clifton between Notion and, and, and Marcy. And you grew up with both parents? Mm-hmm. And then, um, what did they do before, like, oh, you know? Um, my father was a, a electrician, I, I believe. And then my mother had a job. I think she she had you know what she had a few different jobs at different times. Um, but the the most memorable job that I remember was when she worked for American Express. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what her job was, or maybe like a secretary or something. See, but what happened was that my father got caught up in in the drugs. So he was in that wave, of, or when it when it hit, it hit, and when it hit, it hit hard. So now my father's a whole different person now. So now. When I'm going outside to play, I see my father outside with the rest of the crackheads. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, man, nigga, your father, man, I don't, I don't want him to see me. Like, <laughs> you know, like I'm standing there on the block trying to act like I don't even see him. Like, you know, or like being ashamed of him, mm. you know, because you remember the crackheads had a look back then. It was like you saw them. They didn't, they didn't look bathed and healthy. They, you know, they were skinny and smoked out. Yeah. You know, I would come out in my, um, I would come out, you know, to go to school in the morning, and it would be like him and his his friends in the living room, but they was fiends, you know. Mm. Um, but prior to that, um, yeah, I remember prior to that, it was all good. We we had TVs in the house, VCR in the house, you know. Um, it was all good. We, you know, he had a car. But one thing my mother did tell me though about him, which I, which I always remember, is the fact that. Your father might have took everything out the house and sold it, but he damn sure bought everything in his. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't take nothing that he ain't buy. Right, you understand? Right. So he paid for everything in here, mm. and and I always remembered that everything he took, he bought. She told me that, and that stuck with me. You know, that stuck with me. You were the only child, or you got no, six no, no. Months? I'm 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 a brother. I have a brother. I grew up with a brother. Um. But then I wound up having another younger brother later on. Okay. So basically, we grew up. It was just two of us. Your father being on drugs did it tarnish your relationship with him? Like, did you lose respect for him? I was confused. I didn't know what. I didn't know what. Uh, I didn't know what. Uh, I didn't know what to feel because because now I'm trying to. It's like when you when you around 12, 13, and you're hanging around in the street. There's a, there's, a, there's a need to feel cool. So I couldn't feel cool anytime he walked by because then it's like, it gives somebody the room and say, yo, they get your father. Right. And then they get your pops. And you turn around, you see a crackhead. It wasn't cool. But I, I, I felt the need to feel cool around the people that I was around. So I, I so for me, I tried to like disassociate myself from him as much as I could, mm. you know? 
I loved him because it's your father. And I hated to see him like that. But it was nothing that nobody could do. Like I was confused myself. I couldn't understand why this was happening or why he just couldn't just snap out of it mm-hmm. and get better and we could just all be back to how it was. So now as I'm as I'm falling deeper into the realms of being in the street life, it's like anytime he is is in the area, it's like I'm trying to stiffen up and act like <laughs> he don't even he ain't nobody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I act like I don't even see him. And he clearly standing ten feet away. And he hey, hey boy, what's up? What's going on, boy? Ain't nothing. You know, because I'm embarrassed. You 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 dressing me as my father, you're cracking in front of my friends. Of course. And it's not cool, you know? So I went I went through a lot of different emotional um changes with that. I went through a lot of things because it was a lot of things that I couldn't express to my friends like that because it was a soft spot for me. Because anytime something came up, or you get into, you know how kids is, we argue with each other. Yeah. We talk about each other, mothers, say, oh, you, 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 your father's a crackhead, everybody on drugs, like, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was it was an issue. Mm. That was that was that was touching, man. It ain't touching. It's a part of the journey. It ain't touching. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. We here. Let's get hold to on, it. Hold on, man. Like let me let me salute my man. See, that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I'm I'm understanding, I'm feeling your pain. So Pops is in the streets doing that. Moms is at home. Mom's at home trying to put it together, trying to keep it together. Um, which I didn't realize that my mother even had her. See, back then I didn't even realize my mother had her own issues with drugs. Mm. I guess that I wasn't even trying to see it or trying to notice it. Like it was certain things I was noticing, but I wasn't even trying to because I was like in denial about it. And then it wasn't until later on that I, you know. Then my, one of my home, my, my one of my closest friends, he was like, "Yeah, I knew that. I always knew that." And I was just like, "What?" And I deep down always knew that. But her her drug of choice was heroin, from what I understood. You know, um, so she she was functioning though, cause she had a job and she would maintain that as much as as much as possible. Um, but you you know, it was it was hard. It was hard for her to deal with having a husband that was in the street, her dealing with her own demons, and then have two boys to raise. So mm-hmm. it, it 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 was a, uh, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for her. Mm-hmm. When did you go into the street though? Now bring us to the time, like who introduced you to the street? It wasn't like that, man. You know, like it wasn't like that. It wasn't like, yo, this is the street, my girl, I'm putting you on to it. Oh, <laughs> it ain't like that. It's I just, know it's not like that. It's just, you just there. <laughs> You it's just you just you just there, bro. Like it's it's just a gradual development from being outside to doing mischief to doing more things that turn into to to selling drugs to robberies or whatever that may be, you know? It's just it's just gradual. The streets feel natural. Mm. They only they only not feel natural is 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 if you were standing on the outside of them, but it, I never we never looked at it as being in the street because it wasn't a thing. It was just like we outside and mm. this is what we do, and we over here doing whatever we got to do. We over here busting moves or whatever it is. You understand? Mm-hmm. And and it, 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 that's how it was for me. It just was. Gradual, it just was nature. It was, I never had any aspirations of being anything. I never thought that I was going to be anything. I never thought about uh, aspiring to be in any form of entertainment, aspiring to be any, 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 any particular uh, job description, anything. Anything about what the only thing that was attractive to me was 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 the world that that I was in. You understand? Because for me, it wasn't even fashionable to be a be a, be a rapper. I was more enthralled with 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 dope dealers. Mm. You understand? I was like, man, these 
Some drugs, these niggas getting money. Like, these niggas is killers. Like, what? These niggas is out here. You heard them shots last night? That was, what's the name of them? These niggas is getting busy. What? Hmm. And you grow up more to idolize and mimic that. Because that's, this is the era where get money and violence is hand in hand. You know? And, and being violent it was, is like, uh, It was part of your manhood. It's part of your manhood. You know, going to jail was a part of that journey. I always felt like I was going to go to jail because it was part of what you're supposed to be doing, right? Mm. So if we know that we all in the street and, every, and being in the street feels natural and everybody's coming back saying, yeah, I was, yo, such and such just came back. Yo, he just came back from Sparvin. Such and such just came off the island. Where mm. are we at? Let's go over there to see him. And he come back with the stories. Yeah, man, I, yeah, son, I was over there. And everybody in your neighborhood is talking the same. And everybody that you know is doing the same thing. And it all feels natural. And then you, you, you know that you're going to go one day because it feels like that's the natural progression of things. Mm-hmm. It is no different. Like, we, I'm, yo, because when I go to the island, you, I, I got to hold it down. I'm have my raising my boot. And all, like, so you, right. you, you already program with this way of thinking because everything in your environment is pushing you there because it all feels natural. So, you, so pardon me, you don't have nobody, in, you know, well, obviously you, you, you kind of answered it already, but <clears throat> I just want to ask it again. Like you didn't have anybody, any of your friends or family, family members that that was positive role models to you back back then that you remember? Anybody that was like your uncles, your aunts that was doing something that you could have followed their their lead on or, you know, somebody that, that you seen in the in the neighborhood or you heard of that was doing something that worked a nine to five and you kind of looked up to anybody like that that you crossed your mm-hmm. past during that time? Man, nobody ever asked me that question. Hmm. No. Nobody. No. Nobody. Nobody that I respected. Gotcha. See, and this is the thing. You, it's, it's a that's a tricky question because then when you look outside, you see people on regular jobs. You see people, you know, going to work. Hmm. You understand that early. You understand where you at in life, but nobody that. I respect it. So you hear the stories like, oh, you out here shooting and all that, this and that. You know, out here doing this and mm. I see you doing this, right? But the respect, it, it has to be a certain amount of respect. You have to respect what that person is doing. You got to respect who that person is for you to look at that and say, damn, I never gave anything a thought. I never gave the thought of, damn, man, I'm going to go to school, go to college. Um, get a career in such and such. I never gave that a thought, ever. Not one time. Hmm. Not once. Who in the streets you looked up to at that time when you don't like saying his names? No, we don't got to do names, bro. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The, 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 this, this is the no. We don't got to do names. Yeah. We don't do names. But they know. They know. They know. So, when you started getting moving and shaking, uh, what age you started moving and shaking the streets? Like, what category were you? Were you a hustler? Were you a stick up? Like you know, all when that. Look, when we look, <laughs> so all you, that. Uh, you was in the you was in the pot. You was in gumbo. You was gumbo. Gumbo. Okay. Gumbo because the the niggas that I knew that was getting money mm-hmm. would take money too. Mm. So taking money, and getting money. Whether we was getting the money in another town or whatever, or getting the money mm-hmm. around our way, if the, op- if the opportunity came to take some money, even that, and and what I'm saying by taking, and I'm not talking about but some lady walking up just up and down the street. I'm talking about in the realm of drugs. And if we heard it's a, it's it's a dude over here or some people over here that had um, a situation in their house, or we call it a trap house or whatever. And we running in there. Hmm. We go, yeah, we running in there. Yes, we gonna, we gonna go in there. We with that. We with that. We with all that. Oh, so you was doing everything. With all that. When, when did you go to Queens? You was at Queen. I know you was in Queens at a young age. I always was in Queens because I have family in Queens. Mm-hmm. So I was in, introduced to Queens. This is why I knew a lot of people in Queens. Mm-hmm. I was, I was, um. 
I was in Queens because um, my cousins, both of my cousins, they passed away. My, um, shout out to my cousins, um, Dube and D Wise. Mm. But my cousin Dube, who's a little older than me, but he was, he was, he was like us in Brooklyn. Like my older cousin wasn't about no street. Sh he wasn't about no street sh at all. My cousin Dube Shane, he was selling drugs. He was with it. He would call me and be like, "Yo, look, it's gonna we, it's gonna be over here. Some is getting money. It's it's a gambling spot over here. Whatever it is, come get it." So now, mind you, I have been going to Queens since before that, though. Like when we was kids, kids riding our pedal bikes and you know over there on on Henderson. And you understand, like we up and down farmers and. You understand? So I had been familiar riding all the way to Hollis. I had already been familiar with Queens because of that. You know? Um, I was cool with with um I would go to um uh, see I don't wanna say names, bro. But yeah, there was a homie that was up here. I knew I and he's he's pretty he's pretty well known when his family's pretty well known and all that. And and and, and he was one of the that idolized in Queens. And I and I I was cool with his little brother, and we used to go to the crib, and I used to, we used to see them and with the cars, and be like, damn, you understand? So, and he's a he's a he's a legendary Queens man, but I used to go to their crib when I was a kid, um, with his little brother, you know. Nah, we know who you're talking about now. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I guess we gotta respect the fact that you don't want to say names. Yeah, right? well, we got to. That's corny. That's corny. Wow. You're big, you're big enough. You're not saying anything wrong, but I understand. Respect. Don't have to. Respect. But that's a fact. That's a fact. He got a big family, yes? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, they got a big family. They got a big family. And we talked about that, too. I told him, because cause when, I, when I got older and um and got into the music and shit like that and finally got around him and we were like, word, like, yeah. I, and, he, and he brought his little brother and one day to the studio. And we was all in the studio together and we were like reminiscing. Yeah, we used to go to the crib because him and my cousin was was, was close. So, yeah. Um, what happened that you got locked up into that time? I mean, we you know we read about it, but what happened? You did time, right? You did about right. ten years, yes? Right. What happened that got you to ten years? Um I had a I had a kidnapping. I had a kidnapping. I'm asking now. Now, what kind of now? What what you want to know? I mean, you've been charged for it already. Yes, you did the time. No, I'm not. No, of course, yeah, yeah. That, I'm not afraid well, I'm to not. talk about it. But you you want the details? See, the details is that here's the thing, and and you gotta you gotta you gotta catch me the way I talk. Respect. Because I don't I don't just like blur everything out. Understood. So if I'm telling you, we wit all that right. So if we wit running in situations. Right, if I, if I'm saying that's the door, and we got word that it's inside there, and we we with all that, then naturally, if I say, "Yo, you know the connect we've been dealing with," you know he, we could we could take him. We could take him. Word, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's let's take him. Let's take him. So, it's. I don't. <laughs> okay, um, let's slow down a little bit. So, so you one day decide to take the. Uh, no, I'm not. No, it's not. It's uh, not me. Just me. It's a group effort, man. I'm just saying. Let's talk a, about you. I don't want to worry about the group. Yeah, well, about you. that's that's the thing. I'm part of a group. I'm part of a. Well, back then I was, and I'm, I'm part of. It's a group effort, and it was a. It was a thought that, you know, that we could we could possibly, take. Um, the person that we were familiar with, you understand? Mm -hmm. Now that person is a is a um, will be categorized as like a a drug dealer. You know, um, he will be categorized as a as a as a person that um, gets pieces. You understand? Is a drug dealer. You know, just playing with pieces and shit like that. So. Mm -hmm. Um, that was that was the uh, that was the thinking. The thinking was, 
that we could we could snatch him because see here's the thing for some reason I always thought personally that as long as my crimes or or my or whatever I'm doing in the street dealt with other that's in the street then it's all good so if my crimes is, is against a drug dealer or another killer or or not, not whatever right. like it's all good. Like makes sense. That's the it's it's a stupid way of thinking because I'm not thinking from a human standpoint. Because the court don't give a f they like, listen, okay, this been caught with two bricks before, but still you stole him. So it 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 doesn't it doesn't matter. You stole him. You can't do that. No matter what who who he is, you can't steal humans. You can't move and go from <laughs> from one place to another. How did you get caught, man? Like, cause you, you the phone calls. The phone calls were too long. Mm. Phone calls were too long. It was inexperienced. We didn't know. Now we've done things similar to that, but never, never really moved again like that. Did he tell? We didn't have to tell. We got caught with him. You understand? So if the phone calls are too long, we're making the phone calls. Next thing you know, we got a knock on the door and it was the police. Got caught with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. So you want to ransom? What, what the f did you, what the f you think you wanted? Like, I don't understand. Like, see, don't don't get so industry on me with the questions that you don't understand common sense. I know common sense. If I'm saying we stole hold on. Him, hold on. No, you hold on. No, you hold on. You hold on. This is common sense. Don't talk to me if like I'm, that. No, I am going to talk to you like that. Because I've seen you. I seen you do it to niggas here. So listen, G Money, if yeah. I'm saying, yeah, always do that, right? yeah. if I'm saying, follow what I'm saying because I don't like to just be my ver. I like my verbiage not to be so direct when right, it's, right. when I'm talking about shit like this. Follow what I'm saying, but it's old. Man. It don't matter. This is the way I talk. I I, I didn't you wear it. you wear your beard funny. That's just the way you do it. Huh? That's just it's the way old, you. Nigga. You got a nasty. Huh? Hat it's on. Old, That's just the way you do it. It don't matter. You ugly, what I'm nigga. Now you know, bro. <laughs> What's yeah, wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm saying is this. If I'm saying, here you got a a, a known convicted drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Here you got it. Here you got us on 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 another on another on another finger, right? If I'm saying we stole him, what you think we stole him for? I want you to say it, nigga. I no, know. Man, you, you know what it is. And I don't think... So that's the problem. I don't, the, the people that's going to watch this, they ain't stupid. They not stupid. I didn't say they were. But you see, that's what you do. You put things out there that make people think like, oh, yeah, you try to lead people like, hmm, no, like three I give blind them, mice. I give like, them, more, I, I give them, I'm not saying anybody's <laughs> stupid them, or implying. I, give them, I, give I want them, to know nigga, for myself. I'm I stupid. give them. I give them. I'm stupid, sir. What they need to have. I'm and stupid. Then it's it's like I don't need to to go into depth. Respect. Because it's like for what you called. Y'all was on the phone too long. Uh -huh. Obviously, they had an APB out on him looking for him, and y'all was on the phone too long. Y'all got caught. Yes. Bottom line. How many days was he with y'all before you got caught? Not a couple. Some hours. It was not hours. A, okay. Yeah, it's not no days. No. But it, you see, but there's a there's a rule though. I think it's. If 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 you have somebody in your in your in captivity for longer than eight hours or twelve hours, then it's then it's like a real ki uh, kidnapping kidnapping. So it's a lot of shit where people say they got kidnapping. It's not it's not a real a, a technical kidnapping. Mm -hmm. It has to be a certain amount of time, and it has to be that you moved him from one place to another. Um, you like if if somebody comes in here right now and holds us. Against our wills, right now in this room, for about three, four hours. That's technically not kidnapping. Mm -hmm. You know, feeling like they got kidnapped, but it ain't. Um, so we 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 had a legitimate drug related kidnapping. Um, yeah, that was that. And you got locked up, and then um, you got sentenced. To, you didn't go to trial or anything. You copped out. Like I I I copped out to a five to fifteen. Mm -hmm. So that meant I could have been home in five years. So, when you go to jail, tell us what that experience is like.
What I know, where, where the flip? Where's the Queens flip nigga that I know? What he's he's here. He's here. He's, 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 he's trust me. He's here. He's what's the experience he's, like? He's, when you so when you go to jail, tell me what that experience is like. <laughs> it's jail. Nigga. This shit is scary. This shit is, it stinks. It smells. It's aggravating. It's 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 crazy. It's, I don't. I, I I can't even. It's every word that you can think of. You know what's so crazy? Like hmm? I try to like conduct myself professionally. With don't conduct mine. yourself professionally. You know what I'm saying because I want to get straight into how you got cut. Cut. You know yeah, in jail. See? Cut. Yeah, but see, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to ease into things. Before, out before, of respect for you, because okay, you my man. No, we could get into that. I know we, we could. You don't care about that. Cut. Hmm. Cut. I did. I did some cutting myself. I heard. Because that was that era, and there was a lot of dudes doing a lot of cutting. This is adolescence. So I went to jail when I was like 17. 17. 17. Damn, boy. So much time went by. But listen, before building, adolescence, it was like Gladiator on some, it was all about that razor. Mm. You know what I mean? It was all about that razor. That was the first place that that really felt like you had to be who you claim to be. It wasn't like now where you could just be a part of the game. Right. You know what I mean? You see a lot of shit now. I see a lot of things now where you could just be a part of a system that's already established, and then you and then you good because you already wearing that flag. Mm -hmm. It wasn't no flags to be to be wearing. You either was from Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, um, you know, the five boroughs basically. Right. Now in no in that five five boroughs, you got you got niggas that's with it, you got live niggas, and then you got that's that's timid. And this is gonna bring out either the best in you or the meek in you. You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna be like a meek nigga, like a, a nigga that's weak, like a you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, I don't want to. That sounded wrong. Meek. Yeah, because you know yeah. what I'm saying. You know what I'm yeah, saying. Meek. meek. Yeah, it's another word for meek. Yeah, right. I got, I got. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. You know, yeah. a lot of people get offended yeah. when you yeah. misconstrue things. The yeah. word be like he said meek. No, I'm saying a meek, a meek yeah, person. Got you. got you. Um, so this is this is that environment where it's like, and then you gotta remember, the phones was a, was always an issue because they was free. And they had, they had, um, they had, uh, they had three ways on them. You can make three-way calls. You could, uh, so in the mods, it was two phones. In the cells, it was one. And then back then, you could have all your clothes. So whatever you was, you know, your, your Jordans or your Nikes or your Tims, your chain, your rings, mm -hmm. you could have all that. So it was really the era of, who you are is who you are, and if you if you seen a nigga that was wearing jewelry on, he probably was alive mm. because he is um it was he if he didn't if he wasn't alive he wouldn't have it right. You understand? So you kind of knew who was who by the way they was looking, and in the the way people handled them. Mm. You, you understand? But it was it was very dangerous. It was very dangerous. It was a very dangerous time, and it was. It was rough. Um, I think back on that time as like, like I was in school. Cause some dudes that I know from back then, it was like, damn, we was in school. It was like a college for me, like a, or a high school going into college for me, you know? And it was rough. I got into a lot of trouble. Um, I had a lot of problems leaving there and then going upstate. And you know, because you don't know much. And right. this is, you got to adapt. And, and me adapting to that is like, you know, these raises and all this other going back and forth with other young from from other places, even in the same borough, you know. So tell us about a time. You know, I'm sure when you when you got into jail, like you had to uh, let your name be known. You know right. what I'm saying? Or 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 if not, maybe, maybe you walked in there, you were good because your name was good in the streets already. But um, yeah, uh, listen, like I always been popular. I always been popular. 
but that that don't that kind of don't really mean much. Mm. It, it, it means but so much. You know what I mean? Like to know you from around your hood and, and and say, yo, that's such and such. Right. That's such and such. You know, he liked that in the street. They with it. But in jail, it's always a, a time when you're gonna have to prove who you are or show that you really like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I appreciate that time more because I don't have no issue with, with gangs, you know what I mean? Because the culture is all the same, but like I said, it was you, you had to be who you was. You couldn't just be a part of the system and then just be like, I'm good just because I'm right. such and such and just because I'm, I'm waving this flag, I'm good. Nah, you want you want some time on that phone, it's every man for they sell. Mm. How you going to figure that out? You coming in the house, it's like, what up? I remember, I remember I went to a queen's house and tried to dead the phones in a queen's house. I remember it was it was it was in there that I I'm cool with to this day, and it was four upper, and I had just came out the Bing, and I went in there and I was like, yo, who who got the phones? Show me who got the phones, and then me and dude started talking. He was like, yo, we can, we can work something out. Hmm. So then I, I I waited a day. And the next day I put a plan together. I'm like, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm a dead the phones. I'm a dead it. I'm gonna go in the day room. I'm gonna take the phone. I'm, I got I found me a, a little spot that was with it. Found me a that was with it with me. He got the phone. I said, take it off the hook, put it in your back pocket, we're gonna go to the back of the day room. Now why did where I messed up is is that when I when I took the phone and went to the back. Now I'm catching up, I'm catching all these off guard. But what I should have did was lock the day room door, and then it's just me and them. Mm. But I left the day room open. So when I went to the back and I was like, yo, look, click the click is dead. Back in the back is where it's at. <laughs> What's happening? Jumped up, was like, oh, word. And ran to the day and ran to their cells and came back strapped. Mm. And I remember it was a it was a I couldn't stand this to this. Oh my god, he. We um, me and him was going razor to razor, in the day room. Um, I ain't cut him. He ain't cut me. We were swinging at each other. And police came like that. Out they they wound up kicking me out of there, because of that. Um, but yeah, they wasn't they wasn't they wasn't going for that. They wasn't going for that. Didn't work. It, it didn't work for me. I'm gonna keep it a hundred, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, I like you, man. You, you're a good guy. You know, you're yeah. good with your word, but. You know, I don't like how you try to spin me or spin us. You know, I asked you how you got cut. You went we didn't to get, we didn't get to that. No, but you went to a whole theory about like like we didn't even this. get to that because we still talk. What we we talking about Rikers Island? I, I asked you that question first. All right, but you need you need to pipe down. Listen, for real, pipe down because here's this. Here's, first of all, pipe down. Go hide behind me. Pipe down. The thing the thing about that is that I'm describing the transition. On, right, being on Rikers Island. I apologize, man. I didn't get cut until I was upstate. I got cut in Comstock. Now, that, now I got cut by a dude that we we was cool, and then we fell out, and then over some. But you got to remember, we kids, and we was in Kasaki, and I cut him. Um, and he wound up catch. He wound up cutting me back in Comstock. I was in a barber chair. And he rocked me to sleep good. He was working on me, you know. I had seen him in Southport for some other shit I had did. And Southport is a box. So it was like the central box. I had been to Southport a couple of times. And one time I seen him in there. He was in his cell and we, and we talked. And we had some, because we had love for each other, prior to that, it made me believe like, all right, you know what? It ain't about nothing. And plus, I'm already, I got... Ten other niggas to worry about. You understand? Like, I got ten other niggas to worry about. I hear it, it. This is, you know. So I'm thinking, it's all good. So this is what I learned, though. Never under, un, never underestimate somebody, right? You never underestimate somebody. You already, you always know that. But then here's here's the flip side of that. Don't never overestimate yourself. Vanity. 
It's not good. So you're looking in the mirror and like, yeah, I'm not. I don't want it. You don't want it with me. And you and you and you and you keep pumping yourself up like you like you the greatest. I got the calm stock. Let's say like I got the calm stock on a so like I got the calm stock on a on a Tuesday. I got cut by Thursday. Like I wasn't even in, I was as soon as I got there. Damn. As soon as I got there, they, they, I was out of there. You understand? Um, I wasn't I wasn't in population one day. And I had seen him. And he told me, like, yo, that's dead, man. I'm, you know, let's let's leave that alone. I'm trying to go home. This is all the war though. I can't be I can't. It, it comes with the territory. Right. right? So don't be like one of these rat that that better that'll shoot you and then turn around and, and, and rat on you when, when you shoot them. So the thing, the thing was, I believe that. I considered that because mind you, I've been around the state. I've been beefing with certain doing all types of shit, in and out the box, getting caught with shit, all the way involved. You see, I've been at over 10 different prisons in, in my time in the state, some of them twice. Now I know it's a lot of rappers that been in jail. I don't know many rappers that really been through the shit that I've been through though, like years of solitary confinement, really moving around the state. I'm not talking about you was in that one jail for three, four, five years. Because if you was in that one jail for three, four, five years, you basically was just chilling. It's one thing to be in jail, and it's another thing to really be abandoned. You know, and that's just keeping it. That ain't me trying to make myself to be more than what I'm not. You understand? I didn't. This is pre music. I ain't had nothing to live for or to think about. I didn't have nothing to hope for. So this is, I don't. This is my life. I'm coming up the street, and this is that I'm involved in. So I had believed, bro, that he didn't want to pursue the issue with me and him. And that's why that's why I went wrong. I went to the barber shop the next day. I felt like everybody in the fucking jail knew I was coming there. And as I'm getting my hair cut, I seen him come in. And he played it off real good. Like, what up, what up? And he kept walking, he walked off. And then I, you know, I'm getting my hair cut and the nigga talking to me. And next thing you know, I just feel something on my face. Oh. No, I didn't touch it though. I just felt I just felt it like I just knew something was wrong. You know what I mean? I had cut enough people to know what it you know what it's what it what it's like. It's like, oh shit. Everybody so I already know. I yeah. still got the thing around the thing around me. But you know, your mind, you, you your mind is sending you in so many different places because you almost like it's like, oh shit. cut me. You know, me and him start fighting, and um, it was it was really I'm I'm bleeding like a pig, really like it ain't, it's really not much really could happen other than a fight, and um, yeah, that's basically how that happened. The police came, we was all wrestled up, all tangled up. I'm bleeding, we all wrestled up, and um, they they uh they took me out, took me to the infirmary or whatever, stitched me up. Talk crazy to me, you know, and that and that's kind of how that happened. But I learned valuable lesson from that, though. I never, I never put myself in a position like that to be hurt like that from a from a from a known adversary. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not it's one thing to not know who on top of your head, but it's another to know like man, you can't be trusting that, that you did too. Like and I and I and I spent a lot of time in my cell like really angry with myself for allowing myself to 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 fall for that but i looked at it like a like it was a wake up call like you know what maybe i needed that because he could have did way worse he could have did way worse he could have did way worse i'm sitting there and he he had all this to work with it could have been my throat could have been a knife in my throat i could have been dead anything so i always i always took that as like it could have been worse. I could take that. 
because I, I've, I've dished it out enough. It's all good. We even. Did you ever see him again? Yeah. I seen him. I seen him in the street. I seen him in the street one time in a jewelry store. And it was so... It was so... Uh, it was so fast, though, like... When I walked up, he didn't he didn't see me at first, if I if I recall. And he turned around and I was standing there. And he was just like, yo, man, look, let's, you know, let's leave that in jail. Now, my my pride and my ego is telling me, now mind you, I got a few, I don't remember how many people you had with him, but I remember I had probably more. And and I probably was in better shape if if I wanted to if I wanted to do something just because I had been in the street longer and I had more access at this time. And this is probably when my, I'm at my strongest in the street, in, in the style, right? So I'm like looking like my pride saying, now nah, we're, we're going to get this. But then when you come, after you come home after a while and you, and you get in the street, certain sh doesn't seem as important no more. Especially when I looked when I start when I looked at it, it's like, yo, we we basically even, bro. We basically even. You you can live with that, I can live with that. We both got scars on on our faces that we gave each other. I know niggas that shot each other and got past that. So it did. I seen him at one time. I never seen him again. But I'm not. It's not like I'm looking for him. Understand? You know what I'm saying? It's not like if I see him, it's yo. Know, we honest. Like you know what I mean? And I didn't. I didn't live a lot, bro. I think he he wound up going back to prison and doing a lot more time again. And what I tell you is, is this: after you have a lot of enemies. Going through some of the shit that you go through. What I learned now is that because a lot of this is coming home that I might not, I may have not gotten along with in those in those years, or we might have had fallouts in those years. And I say, bro, you ain't. I ain't the person you got to worry about life. You got to worry about life more than you got to worry about me. That's real. Just having a hard, hard enough time dealing with life. Because now you, we not little kids no more. Now life is real. And you got maybe kids or it's pay your, you got, you got these bills every month. You know what I'm saying? And living life or uh, adapting and adjusting to your freedom is going to be a, a harder job. That's going to, you ain't got to worry about me. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to worry about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's, a harder foe. Because this is why niggas go right back to prison because trying to adapt, trying to adjust, trying to get it right, and everybody can't get it right. I was fortunate to be able to get it get it right. And I was fortunate to live and I was fortunate to be able to, to touch and feel and taste things that most that come from my background or that came from my era don't. So it's like certain shit is like, man, I ain't we can we could we we could we could we could get past that. Now it's not like we need to be buddy buddy, but right. you exist in your world, and I exist in my world, simple. and that's it's just that simple. Like you know what we had, blood was, you know it is what it is. You know I'm over here in this world, whatever world you in, bless you. It is what it is. Do you think that moment right there is is what kind of made you get that? that mindset that you had when we came home and all that like did that really help you that that uh one moment really helped you change and mature more and no that was just with him mm. i'm gonna be honest with you that was that was just really with him that that's every 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 situation is specific to that situation now it's certain people that i don't never i don't i don't we ain't got nothing to talk about mm. nothing to this day, it ain't nothing to talk about. 
And ain't, we, we, we ain't never talking about nothing. We ain't never, we ain't never, I don't, if they came in this room right now, it's like, I can't even control myself. Like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, right, right. really, you know what I'm saying? Like, is it because and, the guy that cut you, you knew each other prior and had love for each other prior? Is it deeper than that? Or is it just that a street level thing as far as a respect? Nah, and one, one was, was this. One was this. It was this other, I never, I never told nobody this. It was this other guy that I cut, that I cut, and he's he he he's pretty prop popular in Brooklyn, and then when I came home, everybody was like, "Oh, this is it's going to be it's going to get crazy, right?" So when I come home, he said he got in contact with me, and we have mutual homies. And he was from East New York. I'm from the Star. So then when we we wound up getting on the phone together, and, it, and he said to me, he said, yo, look, man, I'm going to leave that jail sh alone. That sh whatever happened in jail, we're going to leave it We gonna leave it like that and, and get this money and you do you and I do me, whatever. Now, mind you, he never did nothing to me. I cut him. He was able to, if, if he was able to live with that, mm. he was able to live with that. And it didn't, it didn't, I didn't look at him as being no less, but he just looked at it like that was some jail sh It happened in jail, whatever. I'm keeping it moving. That's how he looked at it. We didn't really run into each other in the world. Really, not, I don't, we never really ran into each other, but so he had told me that. And, and I always thought about that, like, could I have done that? So now when I seen bro, I felt like, we even. I can live with that. Hmm. It, it, I can live with that. You cut me. I cut you. You cut me. What's going to happen now? We going to keep going with this shit? Right. Like, what's really going to happen? Like, I'm going to be sitting outside or, or spending my resources trying to trying to gun you down mm -hmm. behind some that really wasn't about nothing. You know, look at all these bitches I done fucked off this car, man. Shit, thank you, man. The greatest. You understand? So, like, it wasn't about so much about growing up. It was about what made sense. Like, I got other shit to worry about, bro. Mm. I got other shit to worry about, and so do you. Life and other shit that's really more important. And the thing about having enemies is like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, which is sad because as black men, we have a lot of energy towards each other. A lot of aggression, a lot of, a lot of hate towards one another. It's like, I'm gonna kill this nigga, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's sad, right? But this is the way we learn, this is the way we were taught. We were taught this behavior, you know? We, this has been passed down to us to hate, to, hate, to hate ourselves and to hate, to see no value. Listen, if I don't find no value in myself, if I, don't, if I look in the mirror and don't see no value in myself, then I can't see value in you. Hmm. So hmm. when I, when, by the time I see this, I see value in myself. It's a certain that I just Got you. not going to do no more because I'm trying to go here. And, it, and it's like, let's really, let's really be honest. You hit me, I hit you. I hit you, you hit me. Fuck it. I can live with that. It don't make me lesser than don't make you less of a nigga, right? I can live with that. You stay on your side of the tracks. I stay on my side of the tracks. You in your world. I'm in my world. You doing your thing. I'm doing my thing. You see, the thing about squashing, we misunderstand things. Is like we have this mentality like I don't want to squash nothing. I ain't squashing nothing. It's like, okay. If we squash it, it's like, what, we supposed to be friends? It ain't so much about that. It's just a common understanding. Look, we're going we gonna, we gonna to lead it. We're going to lead it. We're going to lead the violence. We're going to put that on the floor. You do what you, you do what you got to do. I do what I got to do. We don't got to be buddy, buddy. We don't got to call and hang out and all that. You in your world, I'm in mine. And it's just that simple. 
you started rapping in jail, yes? Mm-hmm. And it just says that you just started rapping out of boredom. Is that what it is? Is that what you put out there? I started rapping being in a box. We've been in the box 23 hours a day. I was in a box. I spent a total of three and a half years in the box. Mm. In solitary confinement. Not at one time, but all together. Second, now, yeah. Right. Mm. So, SHU, Special Housing Unit. In New York State, everything that they got built, I've been in. Everything they got built. All right? From level one to level three in Southport. The plexi get the, the glass, the, the cages with the plexiglasses in front of them. S block. Everything. Everything that they got to punish you, I've existed. So a particular time I was in the box, I was doing a year in the box, 12 months. And I had started rapping. It was a Friday night, and I was listening to dudes rapping on the gate. And I was like, like really like, damn, sound crazy. And it inspired me to make a rap. Mm-hmm. Now, you got to remember being in a box, there ain't really much you could be doing in there. Reading a book, writing a letter, sleeping, doing push-ups. There ain't much you could be doing, masturbating, whatever. You ain't doing much. Mm-hmm. You ain't doing much. So for me, it, it wasn't so much out of boredom, but it was something to do to pass the time. So like now I would I would I would get up and start writing me a rhyme. By the time I finish that rap, the whole day is over. And it's like, damn it, I just spent the whole day in my head like mm-hmm. of you trying to find ways to to be out your cell or be out of the hell. You try to find ways to to spiritually dream further than these bars because I don't care what nobody come up here and talk about, nigga. Jail never was cool, bro. Mm. Jail never was cool. Being in prison hurt every single day. And I don't care what it, how how it looked, all the trouble I was getting into, all the problems and all the enemies and the cause for itself, it never was cool. It was learned behavior because it was felt like it had to be. So being in a box, it was just a part of that same process. Me writing my rhymes now helped me now because now it gave me something to look forward to doing and now it gave me something to do. And it was like, damn, I'm, I'm rapping. This shit feel good. And I was just in my cell, just living in my own head. And it felt good. What happened when um you came home? When you came home, you know, you said, because you always credit Smack. You give my man Smack, you know what I'm saying, Queens. Mm-hmm. Credit for you know help starting not <laughs> you said Queens. Queens. Yeah, in fact, <laughs> facts. You know what time it is. Um, I don't know if you want to. Did he help start your career or he shine light on it? You always give credit to Smack. That's why I like him. Like Smack is my brother. I love him. It's a lot of it's a lot of people to get credit for helping me. DJ K Slay. Mm-hmm. Off the, you know, I, I, the, the, my, 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 the top of my list is is DJ K Slay. Um. DJ Cutmaster C, mm. Envy, Clue. You know, I was connected with Queens. And they was, you know, the, the Queens homies had brought me around Clue and Envy, Cutmaster C, because I was I was cool with them. And, you know, I had met um Joe Button back then. And this was this was yeah, and he was signed to and Smack. So this is the mixtape era. This is the mixtape era where you wanted to be on the mixtape. Right. Mm-hmm. You every mixtape that was popping, you wanted to be on because all, all the hot n- was on the mixtape. Thanks. You know, and then smacking them had turned that had turned it up a little bit with the DVDs. So the DVDs now, it's like somebody came up with the idea, it was like, yo, let's 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 get the artists and do the same thing niggas doing on the mixtapes, but but the visually of it. He's right. doing interviews and, and and videos and 
he doing um battles mm-hmm. like that. And I and I was I was moving around, getting on mixtapes, getting my name out there, doing my features. But nobody didn't really see me until that first Smack DVD mm. that I was on, mm. and that was that was that was the first point that I felt like because then it was recognizing me like, yo, you may not see me on Smack DVD, and I was like, whoa, first time me and Ti got cool, me and Tip got cool. He told me he had seen me on the Smack DVD. Hmm. So how you got up with Smack though? Queens, man, Queens, bro. Well, he like that. <laughs> like that, Queens, man. I always was affiliated with Queens, bro. That's my second borough. My whole life been in Brooklyn and Queens. Okay. So I, I, all, Queens was always my backyard. Always, 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 always. That's what's up. Always, always was in Queens. Always was in Queens. My whole life, back and forth on that, on that, on um, on that Jackie Robinson. My whole life. Mm. My whole entire life. So let's back try real quick though, because we, we 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 skipped the part. Like I want to know when did you know, when did you know you, that you were that you were nice in rapping now? Because you you I in never a... felt like that. Okay. I ain't felt like I was nice until the last couple of years ago. I felt like I was I was a hustler. I felt like I had enough hustle in me to feel like you know what, let's. It wasn't about being nice. It was about working, mm. and it was about me taking the opportunity and saying, "You look, homies." All these out here rapping. This was me talking to my. Mm. We them like they, we, they live in our lives. Like they ain't really, right. We the real deal. Like we really who we say we are. Let's let's get into this and really do it. Mm. The name hustle hard. I thought of that in in, in prison. I came home with that. But me no. That's his nickname, bro. My name's Jermaine. I mean, like, what, 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 what? That ain't no, that ain't no rap name, bro. That's a nickname. Every you don't talk about me like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where well, I'm coming from, everybody name put it. They put an O at the end. I'm like, like fly. Fly. <laughs> everybody name, everybody name got an O at the end. My nigga, so okay. Niggas, you know, if your name was, um, I know a nigga's name, Hedo. You know, Chris Bow, like all type of. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, oh, what up, man? No, man, no. Like, you know what I mean? Right, right. Jermaine is my name, man. You know what I mean? That is not a like a rap title. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. It's more of a nickname. Like, so that's the that's just the area that I come from. I'm from I'm from a place called NA Rock. They call it NA Rock off. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like gotcha. it's like a oh, the nigga named Harry. They call him Harry. Harry yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't really like a. Like a, you know, ain't no story behind it. Just that, that's how y'all. Nah, man. So, okay. so let, let's get into it, cause you know, yeah, I've been, I've been calling a little bit too much. Um, <laughs> little Kim, how did you and and that whole thing transpire? Did you know before jail or when you got out of jail? Yeah, I know before jail. Uh, how? 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 That's cute. Cute. See how you, be, you see what you be doing? Yeah, get some water. I see yeah. how you be trying to play with. Up here, it's a sensitive. Mm-hmm. It's sensitive for you. I, I, What's sensitive for me? I, I, I yeah. love Kim because I saw you ball with her when she was getting her award. I ain't gonna lie, I like that. <laughs> I like that. That's like, woo. So here you go. People, What's the people, people looking at that the wrong way. You gotta see a person, any person, and I seen some shit, like they was like, they know, like he giving Pull me rapo, rapo vibes, and I was like, oh, what? like, God. do you realize that? The, the history between me and me and her, like I rode on that bus with her to jail. Okay, I was I was at a crib, wait, the welcome home party. Like I was, I was there too. You understand what I'm saying? You was there. I was DJing. Oh, look at that! This is crazy. Look at that. <laughs> so you know, facts. You know, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a history there. So it's not mm. like I'm I'm just. And I'm playing. It's no difference than you playing with your sister or your loved one. It's no difference. Where did history come from, bro? Like, stop this. From the hood, from Best Style. Uh, you, you know in Best Style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you used to mess with him? No. What you mean? Uh, Were you sexual with her? Did you used to mess with her? This is crazy. <laughs> this is nuts. Let's go! What type of whole ass question, dumb ass, bitch ass, 
dead wait, wait. ass question. How, how is that? How what is this? This is not good. You, you running a gossip show? Or what, what you running, <laughs> did, you, nigga? did you mess with? Did you like her? Did you have feelings for her? You taking it the wrong way. Did you have? I had feelings. For you? What? What? You, when you talking about before? Like, did what? you have feelings for? Her? Yes or no? Every any any time. <laughs> <laughs> you my man. I'll do it. I'll laugh at you. Let's go. I like this. This funny. This is my man. I like talking like this. Is my man for real. I love it. Listen, did you, listen. Did you have feelings for each other? Yo, it's like it's like that 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 question he asked me didn't even go with the question before that, <laughs> like because he was so thirsty to get that question up that he just couldn't even wait no more. He like yeah, so you know it from uh, you know, this, you used to mess with it. <laughs> Like God, n- 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 yeah, man, it's nothing but love, man. Respect, but okay. I come, I come from, I come from the little Kim camp, basically. You know what I'm saying? I come from being around Kim early. When I came home from prison, you know, I was on the mixtapes and shit like that. And then she opened, she opened her doors. You know what I mean? For me, as far as like coming around and seeing what it felt like being around her. A, a star, like a like a like a legendary superstar, you know. Nice. You, I, first time I ever been on a private jet, and first time I went to Miami, and now I'm I'm, I'm seeing things that I because when you come home from prison, it's like your life stopped from wherever you was at. I wasn't doing shit like that before, mm-hmm. right? So now I'm now now I'm home, <clears throat> now I'm on I'm in Miami, we in mansions and Bentleys and and. And Lamborghinis is outside, and Phantoms, and it it was crazy. So I got a, I got a lot of I got a lot of love and respect. For what, what, Kim, did you, no what, what did you what did you what did you do to mess up that relationship with her? What did you um, do, Cause I know it's you. I know it's you. I don't. I know it's you. What did you yeah. do to mess up that relationship? Um, I'm not sure. I think I think one is that I think one is that. I've always had my own agenda. And I think that <laughs> it's not the answer you're looking for. Suck nigga. No, no, no. I, no, no, no answer, that answer is <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm about to get at you about that answer. Yeah, I am. Wow. wow. You had your own agenda. Let me let me let so me So you came in there uh, under on the false pretenses? Nah. Huh? Let me let me speak to my though, know, because you're a little bit more sensible. You know what I mean? I don't want to <laughs> get up and put my hands on this. You know what I mean? That's how you put hands with me, you know how old I was? No, it, it, <laughs> no, it was in front of this building. No, it was in front of this building. I seen you getting up. I seen your last one. It wasn't impressive. <laughs> Stop playing with me. <laughs> Stop playing with me. What you saw? Mm-hmm. You saw I me seen Jo with that with that slow left. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's Jo. He saved you. But listen, <laughs> ain't nobody saved me. You got saved. Ain't no, you saying that now? You saying that now? Cause cause you you in the hot seat. But you wasn't saying that before. This, this the hot seat. You ain't never saved me, huh? Jo saved you, bro. It's all right. Save me from go? what? From the nigga that you were sitting with that just finished p- picking you up off the floor. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> he picked me up off the floor. Well, he let you get up off the floor. He did. He did. No, I'm not going to let you. It's okay. You in my, get... You're in my domain right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, look around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yo, don't do Yo, <laughs> Yo, put, so, um, yo, put your shoes on, bro. Make me. <laughs> yo, put your shoes on. Make me. Oh, God. Yeah, hurry up, man. So, listen. So, I felt like I, I kind of, like, had my uh, own agenda. And what I mean by that is that I remember being being with her. And I remember one specific time. I was with her, we was in a Phantom in Miami and we pulled up and it was just like so many people out there and it was just like, it was just so crazy. And I, I remember saying it to myself, I want this for me and my niggas. I want this for me and my niggas. Mm-hmm. So although I was grateful of being around her, being in the midst of 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 that, that stardom and that celebrity feel, I wasn't, I wasn't satisfied with just being in there. You know, because there's a lot of niggas was around that was just comfortable being a part of the, the movement. Mm. They didn't really want much for themselves. And you still see them around to this day. So me, I was a little bit more ambitious and I wanted more for myself. So I think that 
you know, sometimes me and her have, you know, fallouts based around me. I don't know if she always felt like I was loyal to her. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know. Were you loyal to her? Me. Were you loyal? You <laughs> <laughs> was a funny though. You was a funny little <laughs> Of Were you loyal? You know what I'm saying? Cause you try to make yourself look cool. Did you do sucker shit? Like Were what? you not loyal? Sucker shit like what? Were you though? not loyal? And, and I respect the fact that you yeah, welcome, welcome. This is me. I respect the fact that you you know you handled what you had to handle and you had ambition, ambition of a rod, ambition of salute. But were you loyal to her or what she, what she, what she yeah, accused yeah, you of doing? Yeah, I was loyal. We didn't put niggas in comas for her, man. Come on, man. Like, <laughs> what else am I do? Like, we down there out here. We out here going crazy on because, but, over her. But what I'm saying, but, why you, but what you saying, listen, you got to be careful with your words. Because I decipher everything. What? What you're saying is basically how I'm taking it is that she ain't want to see you do better. No. Exactly. No, Correct it. Correct not, it. Correct it. That's not what I'm saying. Actually, she wanted me to do do better, mm. but I think that that was in the realms of under her, sort of, right? Got it. So it's hard to be around a because a, a artist that you trying to shine, you trying to shine, and then the person that you with is right. So, and I'm looking at the tail of the tape. I'm looking at these niggas that's around, and I'm like, these niggas is like none of these is gonna be because these is so happy just to be around her, mm. just to be here that they, look at these niggas. You know what I mean? These niggas, ain't, and all these niggas got rap dreams. We all sitting over here with the same rap dreams. Let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. And, and the difference between me and the difference between some of the brothers that was around at the time, right? And maybe some of them is still around, right? We went to Miami for her to record on her album, right? Stand in this big ass house. You listen to what the fuck I'm saying? I love you, man. You listen, man. I love you too. But Put listen. Your shoes on, nigga. Chill out, bro. Bull out for, for the sock. Come on. <laughs> All right, so chill out. So look, we 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 down there for her to record her album at, at Criteria, the Hit Factory, Miami, Criteria. All right, and she got the room booked out, booked all the way out. You know, Dan the man is is the is the, is the engineer, right? He's booked out, but I'm noticing it's like the first two days. I'm noticing that she not getting to the studio till like eight nine o'clock at night. Dan the man is there all day. He ain't got nothing else to do. Hmm. So then I I asked the engineer, at, you know, at the time, like, yo, look, not the her A and R at the time, like, yo, look, if she ain't gonna be in the studio until later. Can I use it? Yeah. Now I'm the only nigga on this trip that's a part of the team that's thinking like that. I'm like, yo, look, I'll get up 11 o'clock in the morning, 10.30 in the morning, whatever, and come to the studio then and work all the way to she come in. And it was like, yeah, you could do that. So that was the difference between me and, and some of the homies that was around is that they they was happy just just being there, not 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 like she was holding nobody back, mm. but nobody was taking initiative, and I wanted to take initiative. I had had all this energy. I just come out of prison, bro. I got energy. What just had me getting up to work in the mess hall? I could get up. This ain't nothing. All right, so I'm getting up 10, 30, 11 in the morning in Miami. Now we out there for like two three weeks. I'm getting up every morning to go in the studio where everybody sleep. And oh, everybody chilling in the big house because it's just happy just to be there. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I'm saying, and that's what I mean when I say um about having my own agenda. What was the last situation between you and her? The last fallout where things were done officially. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got me. You's a funny lord. Um, I I, I really don't know, bro. I really no, don't, don't do that. Know. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Bull out. Don't do that. Really don't, don't do that. You, you got, let's say, when we talk you about this, you tell me anything we can talk about. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can't. You can't. Don't you can't. do me like that. 
What was the last situation, the big situation that caused, that was the final thing? Because you like you got love for her. Even private conversations, you tell me you got love. I don't think people really know that. I don't think she knows that. You think no, she knows she, that? Listen, there ain't nobody on this earth that don't believe that I don't. Because I don't got nothing bad to say about her. I ain't got nothing but love for her. So when Respect. it comes, and, and then when I think about my life, when I think about the opportunity that she she helped me, you know, achieve or she helped help me like you know what i'm saying like it ain't nothing but love I, it's the greatest in my eyes forever like that's right you know what i mean um i'm just gonna say this we and her had a great relationship and i'm gonna leave it like this but it's the time that it, it started to become a little personal a little too personal between us and i'm gonna leave it like that were you being main old like sniper king? Like, did, did, did you get caught being a sniper? I'm just gonna leave it like you that. Were I don't think a lot of niggas don't know you. Were Ill, you dark wing duck. You all the niggas together. You every one of them caught two ill niggas together. I don't think niggas really know about you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas caught two ill niggas together. Yeah, I don't think really know about you, sir. I can respect that. If you want to leave it at that, you want to. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Like, did you love her? Of course I love Kim, man. I love that's my people. But did you love her? What type of love you talking about, bro? Emotional. You know you see that's you see you going see? you going you going someplace. <laughs> no, because going, let me tell you something. Place. But I'm your friend. I'm I'm, I'm a good friend. Yeah, let, me going, let me finish. You going to a different place though. Let me I'm, finish. I'm gonna tell you like this, G Money. Oh. When you <laughs> when you <laughs> when you friends with somebody mm. and y'all like really friends and then you you take that that relationship up. With a with a different relationship and it starts to get a little too personal, then different then feelings get mm -hmm. soft. It's, it's signals get. Mm -hmm. I got he start, he went he went from wearing baggy and, jeans to wearing sweats. So she you know she probably <laughs> <laughs> we all have baggy jeans on. Yeah, we all have oh, what's up? What's up? Oh, what's up? The six X T's and all that. You remember you remember, you remember what uh had what Star Brim said about him? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Chill out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chill out. Chill out. So, so, so you understand what I'm nah, saying, I get you, right? I get you. So the relationship start to get a little too too personal. Mm -hmm. And relation, the relationship start to get personal. It start to get like now the dynamics is different because now you have a different type of beef. Mm -hmm. You having a different type of beef now. That's nigga, what you is? Uh, nigga, oh, man, well, why, why yeah, you cause we know this? you're not a jealous person, huh? <laughs> so now we we, I, we know what you do. You, we know who was acting up, sucker. You was <laughs> not playing your cards right, nigga, huh? <laughs> you had the prize then, nigga. You wanted to go for, for, for you had motherfucking, you had filet mignon. You wanted to go to White Castles, nigga. huh? This huh? nigga, she That's like that. Do. Yeah, I know she, she was like that. that. She yeah. like this. <laughs> huh? like that though. <laughs> he's here. He's here now. He, he's here. Huh? It was quiet. It, it, it was quiet for a little while. Yeah, well, I, you know what? I got was, a lot of love for this. He it was quiet for a little while. He's my friend. I'll take advice mm -hmm. from him, but he, I know him. Well, yeah, so know listen, him. listen, <laughs> listen to what I'm saying though. It just the signals just get mixed up, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's. That's I'm gonna leave it right there. But because man, anything, you, gotta, you gotta admit that you took advantage of the situation. What advan advantage? Meaning of what, that though? you was in a great situation. And what situation was I in? Meaning that you was around. I identified the situation. I'm gonna tell I was you in, what I, I mean. Was around, okay, you was around, which allowed you right to uh, explore access, your options, access right? different things. Okay, you went but to the I'm also you putting in. Well. I'm also putting in pain. Also, mm -hmm. you're right. also damn near hanging. I'm also what. You're not just it, there. You you you. Yeah, I'm out here putting in work. I'm, I'm leaving the truth. What? He ain't just he ain't just there yeah, sitting around. He's showing up for everything. You say anything about this little lady right here? We pulling up. It's right, different okay. times. Okay. So, I'll, I'll so what I'm saying, I was with all. I'm taking all kinds of shit for this, right? Not to say that I wouldn't do it again, but <laughs> <laughs> I was. I felt obligated, right? I felt obligated and the energy was different. We just coming right off the street. So I only been two places. I've been in jail and I've been in the street. Mm. So when I leave jail, I'm coming where? I'm coming right back to the street. So now I'm in the street, all right? So we rapping though, but we still in the street. So coming around her, it's like, yeah, look great. Look wrong, act wrong, talk wrong, say shit wrong. And 
and we up. It's all the way up. And that's that was the thinking. So I, I was I don't I don't think I was taking advantage of this situation. I don't did I don't, I don't owe nobody nothing. Did UNC situation derive from that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All of them. Like the whole everything. You know, that whole that whole situation with with me and them, because it was it was no me and them. It was it was her and them. And me coming around is like, okay, I'm gonna inherit all this. I'm going, yeah, what up? And now I'm going at at homie and them. I'm going at all of them and I'm trying to, you know, engage in, in, in all that on her name. Mm. Mm -hmm. And y'all good now though. Yeah, we all good. We all good. They good. They good, which I was happy to see. Cause you grow up after a while, bro. Like grow up, man. You grow up, you see certain shit is not always what it is. I'm glad to see that that happened. And I'm glad that 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 they kind of got back to some degree because I think that big would uh would love to see that. Oh, but bring sure. us to that day when the video that I saw, the video that I love, you know, you being the main that I know. <laughs> bring us to that day of you antagonizing her. I, I watch it. I got it on the screen. I, I watch it. I think it's funny. You it think it's funny? Yeah, you yeah, think yeah, that's yeah, funny? Yeah, yeah. It's like, like I like it. Like, I yeah. thought it was funny too, but I was angry because the politician. Had me come down there. Let me explain this to you. <laughs> I wasn't down there just to be down there. All right. Mm -hmm. I was down there because they invited me oh, right, to yeah. give her give to her present her an award. Right, I did hear that. Now, now, so then when my people called me, they like, Yo, man, they want you to come to City Hall and present Kim Kim an award, and I'm like. Know that that she that she ain't speaking to me. <laughs> they like I don't think they know that. <laughs> we ain't gonna tell them neither. <laughs> so when I, I I gets down there and I'm sitting there and then they supposed to get up there <laughs> and now I see Kim and she speak she don't speak and then, but we've been through this before so it ain't like it's beef so it's not like I I'm not and, and plus I'm not mad at her right so. It ain't no big, it's it's whatever. Like we go through back and forth. You know, it's been times when that happened. And so they supposed to introduce me. And I'm supposed to go up there and make my speech and introduce her. Exactly. But when they when they go up there, the politicians just turned into different things. Like they they was and they just went straight to introduce her. I just whoa, whoa. I just went and bought this outfit today. You crazy? I just went and bought this outfit. Is you nuts? Y'all invite me down here just to have me sitting here on the bench? No, let me no, let me do this. And that's how it started. And then when she came up there, she was like, um, and then I was bothering her. Like, you know what I mean? Just me being an asshole, just me being me. She know I'm with her, like grabbing her on her shoulder and shit like that. You know what I mean? But it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. So yeah, but that never had a conversation, a good conversation like recently. Huh? Cause you're a new guy. Have you actually have you got to know the new, new man? No, it's not new. The it's mature man, same person, man. I'm the same person, bro. Oh, <laughs> same right. same person, man. So when the last time you, you, you haven't had a conversation with her though in a long time? Nah, Which we man? ain't spoke in a minute. <laughs> we ain't spoken. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Listen. A minute, yeah. <laughs> A minute, it's been a minute though. They don't quite get along with me. You understand? What do you mean? It's they? all good, huh? Camp, talking about they. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, you know, I mean, you too bolsterous and you too uh, oh bravado. Oh. <laughs> That's what I said. I wouldn't get along with you neither. <laughs> you doing all this shit? You're coming around, massaging the <laughs> shoulders. Of the, that shit is what's wrong with you? I wouldn't get along with you neither. <laughs> Did you see the video? Yeah, I amazing. wouldn't get along I, with I you neither. Yo, people was going in on me, and 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 I was just like, "Is that what you get out of that?" I knew realize? there was a rapport. I knew that. Yeah, right, I got you, you see, but like, and then some of these people don't really understand. It's like how you, then you act like you really a fan of hers, right? Because how can you really be a fan of hers and then don't know who 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 I am or the relationship, or even know that I even come from there? Mm. So you really ain't a fan of her. You just. Jumping on a bandwagon and some shit that you think is wrong. You ain't really, you really ain't no fan of us. You would know that there's a there's a there's a a relationship that that precedes years. 
Tragedy Gaddafi. Oh man. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> when 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 did that happen? Because you know we had him up here, as you Why know. Why you asking me about this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> you, you told you told him that you told him to be flip, oh, right? You said you said be flip. No, you know he waited. We, 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 we was up here, and yeah. you know, um, you you know, we heard his side of the story. You know what happened? How long have you been home? Till that happened? How did you meet him? How who introduced you? How did that happen? Oh, this <laughs> is crazy. This so old. This is crazy. Um. <laughs> I had been home, I don't know, two years, year and a half. This is around the same time I'm around Kim. And this is around the same time we taking all the smoke. So <clears throat> this was pretty easy. Now, mind you, I'm a I'm an avid hip hop listener, bro. Avid. That whole Queensbridge movement, I loved it. I'm a Mob Deep fan. What? The Mob, CNN, hmm. et, not everything. I loved that whole era. I loved it, right? So when I forgot exactly how we met, but when we met and he told me that he could, he could take my mixtape and get me a deal for it on for just on some mixtape. Not like no, not like no record deal, but like some mixtape shit, mixtape deal, all right? And I was like, all right, cool. And it was just simple. The mixtape thing, it was supposed to have been a certain amount of money. It wasn't even a lot of money because it was not, it was really no money at all, really. I, I want to say that the money was about 5000 Let's just say that there, right? Couldn't have been less than that. Let's just say that the money was 5000 What was supposed to happen was, once I signed the contract, he was supposed to come meet me and, and then give me, give me the money. Now, he was meeting me down by Junior's anytime he needed to call me. I met, he, met he, bought the, he bought the contract to me. I signed it in the street. I signed it because this is throwaway. So it didn't matter. I wasn't, this was some throwaway. And I think I was already either signed to my first deal with Universal or about to sign my first deal, like my real deal. This was my mixtape. So he said uh, he, could, he could make this happen. So I signed the contract. He was supposed to take that back in. And it, it was supposed to be maybe like a one or two week turnaround from that point on. When that time came, I ain't hear nothing from him. Called him. No answer. Mm-mm. Called him, no answer. Called him, no answer. So we already know what this is. He got, he got the, the 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 few dollars, and and did whatever he did. It's simple. It's just that simple. It ain't. It's not rocket science. It's not. It's not a long drawn out situation. He told me he was gonna get the money, and bring it to me. He was the middleman. Mm-hmm. I never had one meeting with these people. It all went through him. All right. He got the money and got and got lost on me, right? So one day we in a party. This was a tip party in, <coughs> in the city, and we all together. I'm with Kim and us. It was me and my homies, and then I heard his name. They shouted him out, and he came up. And this is when I knew he was guilty, because anytime you're looking for. A that owe you money, and when you catch him, you know the first thing he say to you? Your man was looking for you, man. <laughs> Once he said that, I already- I was to call you, man. That's it. That's it. Why you didn't hear him out? Hmm? Why you didn't hear him out? Because y'all was- There was nothing to hear out, bro. That's a, that's, 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 this is, this is a certain etiquette. Mm-hmm. My number did not change. Your number did not change until later on. You was calling me. We had an open line of communication. This is not a, this is not math right here. This is simple. You were supposed to get the money. You told me once you got the money, you was gonna hit me and come. You stopped hitting me, you stopped answering. I didn't see you to, 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 to what, months later. Cause even, let's say like we even fell out of, con- out, out of contact. You were supposed to, it was your job to hit me. What happened to the, to the situation? It never happened because you got that, 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 those few coins, and you went and did whatever you had to do with it. Cool. 
And I'm cool with that. Just like I was cool with it then. But this is part of the game. Understand that you violated. Now understand that we're going to handle this. Oh. That's it. It was just that simple. <clears throat> it was just that simple. Um, Would you ever speak to him again if you saw him? Or yo, like I, yo, you know, so I was a fan of him. Mm. I told, I, 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 I really like dude. But then I heard, then later on, I heard that he had those type of practices. Like he was a, he was a, a grimy nigga that, that he was, he was doing shit like that. I never, um, I never wanted to do that though. I didn't want to do that. Respect. But you stepping, you, you, you forcing my hand to do this because. You offending me, and now you, you playing with my intelligence. But do you think at that time you were so, you know, because I used to watch you a lot as a kid. I always mm -hmm. tell you that. And from the stories we heard, you were very quick-tempered. Do you think that that's what it was? Do you think that, because if, if it was Maino now, would you have handled it the same or handled yeah, it different? Yeah, same. It would be the same? Same. The, the, see, the, the, the things change is this. It's how you look at certain things. It's still it's the ultimate disrespect, bro. The ultimate disrespect, we can, we can handle it. Like that's, to me, is the ultimate disrespect. Because not only did you get low, but now you're in my face playing with my intelligence, though. Now you now you you playing with me. You playing with my intelligence. Like, I'm so stupid, I'm so dumb that you believe that you can sit up here right here in my face and lie to me like that. You know that you wasn't looking for me. You know that you wasn't calling around for me because I had the same number, bro. You know you wasn't looking for me. I didn't get one call, one message, no nothing. The same way you was calling me prior to that could have been the same time, same way you was calling me then. But you you specifically did what you did. I would rather said to me, you did. I would no, you rather, yeah, I'd rather, that's, man, yeah, I'd rather tell me that. I think they got rich with yeah. monster now. <laughs> Come on, all the crazy niggas, you would stop it. I would have rather him tell me that. I would have respected him. You, you respect him, oh, but, but okay. But the response I, will be the same. Yeah, the response yeah, is gonna be <laughs> that's different. Regards. That's different. Right. See, let's not confuse the response with the respect. It's a certain level of respect. See, like you can have enemies, but you still can respect them. And they still can respect you. I yeah. want my enemies to respect me. Hmm. At least hate me, want to drill me, but at the same time, you understand that. Use the respect. You don't even have the respect enough for me mm. that you're sitting here in my face telling me this lie. That's what make me mad. That right there was makes me, it just drives me crazy. So if you did the same thing to me today, I would feel the same exact pain. Okay, now let's go a little further. You had a situation with a guy named Bunky Essay. Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Bunky essay. I mean, how did that start? Like, I, 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 get, I just remember a video where he was in the, you know, he was in the corner and something. He had something with a shirt. I don't like. How did that start? How did something you even with a meet shirt? him? Like something with a shirt. I don't know. Like his shirt was either ripped. I don't know. I don't know. Like <laughs> how did you meet him? Like how did I it all happen? Met him. I didn't meet him, bro. He was um. He was affiliated. See, this was over uh Kim. He was part of Kim's camp. I think uh. Before I came around, he was part of a, a group that she had called the Beehive, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she he was a part or or Max Out or something like that. Like he was he was in that camp. He was around Kim and them first. Um and what happened he um so when I when I went through the situation with uh seizing him, he had I had saw a video where he was he was disrespecting me. And I didn't I didn't I didn't know him. Like I didn't know him personally. Like I didn't have no issue with him. I ain't had no problem with him because first of all, he wasn't from Brooklyn. So it was like he wasn't even a person to have a problem with. But I saw him disrespecting me. And that's what opened my eyes to him. And that's what started the issue with, with, with him, which really wasn't really no issue. Really wasn't nothing. 
You went to Brooklyn and burned the flag, right? Yes. No, what happened was, what happened was he has made a video with this and me, and then I was, there was, there was a grand opening to the fight club. And when I, when I walked in there, I saw him and was like, man, don't I know you from somewhere? And he was like, nah, nah, you don't know me. I said, oh, yes, I, I know you. <laughs> I know you. Know. And, and he was just like, what, what? And then I did some stupid shit. Like, so I did a lot of stupid shit. I did some stupid shit because I was gripping. I did some stupid shit and was like, you, you understand what kind of I am. And I was like, lift up my shirt or whatever. Just to show him <laughs> that maybe you thought that like, this was like some some rap ploy or trying to be me trying to get in the game because remember I'm still new to the to the rap shit. and so when I saw them I, I kind of like lift up my shirt like show them like look I'm really with it and that was that but that was caught on film that was caught on film so then what happened was time went by time went by I saw him again. In, in in perfection. He he tried to talk to me. And I got this philosophy though. I don't like to talk when they're talking to me with their hands. Because from far distance, anybody could be thinking like mm -hmm. over there checking this like talking crazy. He had this thing about like, yo, can I talk to you for a minute? I was like, nah, my man, I don't, I'm good. I don't want to talk. <clears throat> all night, he kept trying to get my attention. Like, all night. Now, mind you, I'm in the club 30 deep. This is a different me, man. This is a different era. Mm -hmm. this, 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 this is a whole nother time. We on a whole different time, man. And this is now, now, and now at this point, I'm on now. I got my first Bentley. I'm out front. Like, it's, it, I'm, yeah, leave me alone. And he kept, all night, yo, sending people, yo, can I talk to him? My n I don't want to talk. All these bitches in here? Mm -hmm. You want to talk? What you want to talk about? And he didn't listen, and he came again. We was trying to leave. He came again, trying to talk to me. And I like, I didn't, I never put my hands on this dude. Just like I never put my hands on the, the, the tragedy guy, ever. I never put my hands on him. And I never put my hands on Bunky. I just pushed him. Like, off me, nigga. But once the homies saw that, it was, it was, it was, it was a different time now because now they seen this aggression because now I'm like, the fuck off me. Like you, it's like, and I'm doing it because I know what you're trying to do. Like maybe you got standing to the side you, and you maybe telling these niggas that you don't walk over here and, and talk, have a conversation with me, but your hands is moving too. Like I stay away from that. I stay away from that because you can't talk to me like a gentleman, like a secure person. Talk to me like a, like a, like a, like a real man. Then we don't need to talk. And first of all, we what we got to talk about. I saw you at the thing. I did some dumb shit by, by doing some shit I shouldn't have done. So let's leave it at that. He ain't listen. I pushed him. And um, and what happened happened. He ended up like in a, I don't know, a coma or some shit. Man. Woke up. Eight months later. Oh, I know you did. Stop saying eight months later. Stop it, man. Seven, six. It was some time. He was, he was hospitalized. And he came and, and he he came later on. Um, and that's when he did with burning flags and all that. You know what I mean? That was that. But the point had already been proven though. It was like, you know, it was no need to, it was no need to address that. Why did you slap young Berg? Oh man. Cause that's somebody you put your hands on, yes? And he talked about it eight months ago. Um I don't talk about that. No, me and homie, we we all right. Okay. I don't I don't really get that was about nothing, man. Okay. But that wasn't that was that wasn't that wasn't about nothing, man. I ain't never did nothing that I felt like was worth even really making it an issue like because a lot of shit we talking about is it's ancient history, right? Respect. What we what we really talk about don't even matter. 
Oh, you're you're yeah, homie Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's old, bro. Like it ain't all the shit old we talking about. You brought me up here to talk about old shit. But yeah, I mean not really old shit. You brought me up here to talk about old shit. There's a, couple yeah, of things, there's a couple of things I'm gonna ask you, and you yeah. know I'm gonna ask you these things. Okay. But homie, him, you, it's 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 all good. Yeah, that shit ain't about nothing, man. Like it's Respect. some shit happened in Atlanta some years back. I think he, you know, he was a different person back then, and you know, and we we got past that though. Respect. Nothing, 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 nothing major. You have been caused a lot of trouble. What was your relationship with Nikki? Nikki who? Nikki Minaj? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, me and Nikki, oh, we was cool. I had um, I had met her early. Nikki when, Mirage. Nikki Mirage. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This is even prior to 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 Fendi having her, or 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 her and, her and Fendi doing business or whatever. And we was cool. We would um, I would go check in the studio. I first met her because I had needed a girl to sing on 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 a part of one of my songs, and she came and did it. I was recording at the film studio on um on what's that uh Ninth Avenue, and she came in. That's the first time I met her. She used to have a little white beamer. I remember. She, yeah, yeah. And um, we was we was cool. We was cool from all from back then. We always was cool. What's up? How cool are you? I'm just kidding. We was cool. I don't. I don't know if you got the wrong impression, bro. Like maybe, <laughs> maybe you got some bad information, nigga. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, just friends, not, not, you yeah. know, so platonic. Yeah, platonic. This nigga. <laughs> so you know. Yes. Nigga. I, I, just, I mean, because you are habitual line crosser. A line. You cross a lot of lines. I do. I, I, I know you don't go move there. You gonna cross the line on pretty purpose. Pretty much. I didn't cross that line. You didn't. Mm-mm. You could have. You think? Nah, I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I got you. We, I was, got you. we was cool. We was we was real cool. She hung out with me a couple of times. Yeah, we was cool. I just had a silver magnum. Pick her up. Yeah, we we was cool. Back in the days. Back in yeah. Now it was back in the days. Yeah. Stack bundles. You remember the relationship with them? Stack bundles. Stack bombing. Yeah. I remember Stack really good. Real good. I got a chance to work with Stack Bundles and Chinks. Yeah. Mm. Crazy what happened to both of them. I was um I was a part of this song. And somebody called me the other day and reminded me of it. You know, it was a time when I was I thought I was gonna be part of Desert Storm and all that. Skane and them. Skane because I was so close to them. Mm-hmm. Back then, that that's where it was looking like I was gonna be because I was so heavily affiliated with them. So it was this song with me, Ransom, and Hitchcock. They was the eighteen stack bundles. Paul Kane and Joe Button called Reservoir Dogs. Mm. Classic, classic shit on the clue shit. All of us on one record together. And I was like new. And um and that I think was either the first or second time I was on a clue tape. And man, I felt so good. And I remember running in the stack bundles in Far Rockaway. I came up and I pulled up this project when it when it was when it was brand new, like when it when that when it had dropped, because we had just did those verses. We we did those verses together in a spot in Jersey. All of us was together when we did those verses. And it was it just it just felt good. And um classic, classic, classic hip hop bars. Word. Yeah. <laughs> and and you know, they we liked you. We like you. We like you, all of us. You're buying no stag change, you know. You know, I know, man. Yeah, I, yeah. This is the Rockaway Riot Squad, nigga. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. put so much. Yeah, you gonna do a record? You still ain't do it yet. But I didn't. But I, we got on a live, and I told y'all to send me the record. You did the last day. The last you time did. we was on live, nobody sent me no record. We promised you would do it. Listen. I asked you no, hold on, don't to send to don't, talk to me. Don't, don't talk to me like that. You promised to do my man record and you haven't did it. And it's been a couple of years. It ain't been no years. Yes, it bro. have. From, from when you first told Biden. The last time we was on live. Yeah, but before that, it's been years. Oh. 
And you apologize as a man. That's what I respect man, about I you. I apologize. I apologize. And I apologize to Bino. I apologize to you for Bino, didn't I? And you apologize to Bino, but you yeah, said you were going to do I, it. I'm waiting for you to do it, nigga. I'm waiting for me to do what? I don't have it. Then I told you I'd have sent it to me the last time we talked about it two, three weeks ago. Then I said, send it to me. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, Cause I got. I learned how to record myself. Didn't I tell you that? That's a fact. And nobody sent me nothing. You I'm call a, me every day about coming up here, but you ain't call me about that. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Oh, that's yeah, call yeah, me every that's day that's about that's coming that's up here. I don't like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> you ain't call me. Yeah. Oh. But I ain't know. Like this called me every day about coming up here, but he ain't called me one time and said, yo, we're buying a record at. <laughs> All right, say no more. Huh? <laughs> say no more. Yeah, gonna, we don't get it done. Nigga. You know, the thing is, you come with these school and I come tactics. with sense. And I come with I come with sense. You're not gonna, you're not gonna allow me to finish my statement? <clears throat> That's the problem. You've been up here finishing statements too long. You've been up here finishing statements too too long. Let me talk. <laughs> yeah, don't, talk, Let me talk. Like, don't talk to me like that, man. I'm talking to you like that because you 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 asking me bullshit. Ask you a question. You ask me a question that nobody even asked you. You couldn't find 20 to ask me that question. That's not yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. So what are we talking about? You gave more credence to boy. That's like me talking about the the, the other shit. What's you know what I'm talking about? That we don't even need to talk about. What what are you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? Yeah. This is how they try to trip, trip I don't you hide up. I, I don't hide nothing. What are you talking about? This is how they try to trip. Nigga, I don't hide nothing. Don't bite your tongue now. Huh? What I told what I told you though, right? Right, but let, let me just say this, right? What I'm saying is, listen. Yo, what I'm saying, are you gonna go there? No, listen. What I'm saying, I don't even want to give no credence, to it, bro. Because listen, I started this show early on by saying the problem with the internet is it gives the voices to anybody, right? When I seen a nigga say. <laughs> <laughs> When I seen, listen, this is when I knew that life was over as we know it. When I seen go on national internet TV <laughs> and say he was around me because of because his <laughs> because of black child. <laughs> 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 oh, Yo, when I seen that, I said, oh. Wow. Not only is this funny, but it's sick. The reason why it's sick is because you can you can literally you can literally make up any story and then there's a person that's gonna want to hear what you gotta say. Mm -hmm. That's doing an interview with it was like, yo, you know, I'm you know, we we not taking no sides. We just wanna, you know, he's like really listening to this like this shit is so fairy tale. It's like unbelievable and it's crazy to me that any sane person will listen to it, but it goes to show you people just want to hear shit. People just, it don't matter. It could be a lie, big lie, small lie, or a I mean, state I, of movie. You know, I told, I'm going to say no names. I told G Money, he had sent me a screenshot based off of somebody else contacting about doing an interview with that individual. Mm -hmm. And I told G Money, no, I don't think he's aware of initially when I was going to do it, you called me on a very serious, aggressive tone. I didn't like it. Uh, I tried to go back at you, but you looked at the camera while you were driving. I don't know if you was ghost riding the whip. I don't know how it was working. I remember I saw it, and you had, you had your hands. So that means you was riding with no hands on the steering wheel. And you expressed to me that if this individual come up here, you know, um, I know what time it is. And I tried to help that individual by saying, you know what? I think that we should push it off because at the end of the day, you know, and I, I'm more closer with Maino, and I think that it's very, it would be detrimental to his health. And he turned that around and, but let me ask and you disrespected I know. me. But why, but, why, but why you got me involved with that? No, you're not involved. But here, here's why you're involved. But why would you want to hear from that person in the first place? No, I didn't. Oh, I'm just saying. Not maybe, maybe not just you, but just in general. Because here's the thing. Who's, who's policing this shit? We could just say anything? Who's, where's, where's the rules that Where's the parameters? It's just no, it's no rules. It's no parameters. I can say anything, right. and then we gonna, we gonna bring him on our shows to hear what he gotta say. No, it ain't supposed to go like that. 
Because first of all, we need to fact check who the f is talking. Now here's now hear what I say. <laughs> show me the show me show me five people that corroborates these these stories. He cut a <laughs> did he cut a picture out with I don't <laughs> Yes, that picture is notorious. And I saw that picture and it was <laughs> <laughs> that picture is crazy. Did he cut you out of a picture? No, he cut me out of the picture. The picture is, is black. The picture is China. <laughs> Yo, when I saw that, they would have whooped that down these stairs. I, no, I try listen, to help him, G. Listen, listen. Yeah, you, you gotta put me on. I'm, I'm more mad. I'm more. I'm more. I'm more. Not. I'm not even mad. I'm more disappointed. In in the in the guys that's supposed to be like um, journalists or have these platforms, because since when do we entertain so yeah. anything? We entertain anything, anything. Hmm. It's so comedy, man. Black China, really. <laughs> You you was you was you was doing work with Black China, staying in her house. <laughs> yeah, it, that's that that shit's so crazy to me that when I heard that, I was like, no, he really said that, in in with a straight face. But is it funny to you now because you that's, really you, you really want to dog walk him? Nah, I don't, I don't do that. I'm fine. It's me. I'm, it's, me. Even, it's me. It's me. It's me. I don't even want to. I, I, I know you changed your life and you got I I even, sponsorship, I, nigga, but it's me. Dog walk me. The park. Hello, that, Daisy. That, huh? that, that, <laughs> that, that, I did that out of anger. Because, not because of, not because of what he's saying, because niggas have said all type of shit about me. I got you. That's what you're saying. Not because of what he's saying. He being who he, he is. He being the fool that he is. He know that he don't have no problem with me. He know that he ain't never had no issue with me. He, he know he ain't never protected me. Right? However, he, it's not him. He's being who, what his nature is. I'm just angry at the fact that he's just entertaining that. Entertaining that. So, if that was the case, you didn't care about it, why did you give me that call? If you so didn't care about it, why did you give me that call, that warning? Oh, at same, that point, I was angry. And same thing with downstairs when, when we had shampoo up here. And you, out, and I, you, wanted to, I wanted to live certain shit out. Same thing with shampoo. You can't be out here saying I'm shit, saying shit, not live it out. Remember you told me downstairs when I had my man up mm -hmm. here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Put, put him on that dog walk. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put him on that leash. I had to tell you chill. I had to say he wasn't it's here. all right. And it was all good. He was probably here, too. You talking about Let's we'll see what he's talking about. But you took a picture with him and it was all good. It was all good. Man, yeah. I don't be holding no grudges like that unless it ain't no big deal to me. But I'm just saying, like, at what point do we just not check niggas' stories or at least... That's right. Like, it's the reason why... It's, like, when you think of me or you think of certain niggas, it's like, it was other people that could tell you, no, he, who he say he is. It's other people that can tell you that. Mm. So now we don't we don't even. But you gotta you know, blame yourself for having this such a just mystique in the behavior that you have. You know, you walk around and I had let me see, I had nothing but good things about you. Right. You know, positive street. You know, from my cousin, from everybody, just hear a lot of good things about you. I never heard not one bad thing. Mm -hmm. And you know, but you you gotta bring it on yourself. You've been walking around slapping people. Uh, Pushing people to the side, putting people in comas. You were causing this type of... You caused that. That's old. No, it's old, but that come it's back old. around. You know how many things we've done past that? You did a lot you know of positive things, but... You know, you know how much living we've done? But there's no then? blemish on your record. Like, I want to knock you out. Like, but, you know, to, to, put the flirt, <laughs> to put the flirt blemish on your record. I've got blemishes on my record, Yeah, bro. but that, that, that shit's unknown. I'm not super... <laughs> You didn't put so you you didn't put so much work in that the blemishes you know how you know like the DMV after two years the, the, the points come off <laughs> it, it, it ain't your blemishes the, 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 no. diminished. I stay in my lane. Respect. I don't try to be nobody other than myself. I don't try to superimpose my will on things that you know what I'm saying. Like I allow. It's like you got now you got the young niggas out here now doing mm -hmm. what they do. I don't try to impose my will or 
my way of thinking. Listen, it's their turn. Mm. It's their turn. Let me ask you a question, though, because, you know, I heard a lot about you, right? Especially when it comes to the women. And this is something that I always wanted to talk to you about. And because I feel like deep down inside, Man, questions, bro. Dude. I feel like I feel like deep down inside you alone. You know, what the f- publicly, what pub- the wait, hold on, as my friend, <laughs> publicly, that? publicly. Why, you, why, let me finish. Why uh, you get me on your show to tell me some? Sh- Rob, look ahead. This is what I'm. This is what I'm talking about, right? Now, hold you, 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 you didn't play me. You, you want to see how much views that sh- got? Me? You talk about? What? I was. I, I don't know how to take rejection, slash, oh, Huh? You know what sh- oh, that views got? Oh, okay. Violate me. You know what sh- that sh- okay. got on Instagram or YouTube? Okay, okay. It so got two got parts. So, oh, really? Flip the dollar, take rejection part one and part two. That's very true. <laughs> That's not true. You know, come on, take that back. That's my people. That's that okay. over the storyline. Okay. We was in that room right there. You told me something different, but we'll leave it alone. We'll leave it alone. You so, you in a relationship with a lady named Maggie, yes? You remember her? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, you was on Love and Hip Hop. And for the first time, you know, because I heard about you. Sniper King, who? <laughs> Dog, <laughs> you talking about DC Sniper don't have nothing on you, son. The <laughs> Trump. <laughs> eyes closed, bandana on your eyes. But yeah, you were public with that, yes? Yeah. What went wrong? Because <laughs> <laughs> Maggie's a good girl, nigga, and I feel you You slipped up. I'm on her side today. You, you on today. everybody's <laughs> side. You on Kim's side. Every, every, everybody's side. Um... Yeah, I fucked up. Wow. I'm applause for this. This suck shit he talking about. Accountability, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I love the legend. Like, oh, gee. I respect that. I respect. No, 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 no. Accountability, bro. I fucked up. Bottom line. <laughs> no, for real? Bottom line. No, it, it's, it's, they don't get no more. I can't <laughs> say it no easier than that. Cold blooded. <laughs> would, would you? What? In retrospect, would you have did things different? Yeah. Um, because I had a good situation. Mm. I had a good life. Right? And I went from see, I'm not the nigga that go from like having girlfriends and girlfriends and girlfriends. I'd be like, I'm mostly always single. All the time. I only had like three girlfriends ever in my life that, that I really was like in a real relationship with. And that relationship was like the, the realest relationship because we lived together really 24-7 every single day. Like my address was her address. So it was it was specific. And I didn't I didn't always appreciate how good it was. You see what I'm saying? So you know like nigga they say about this um nigga want his cake and eat it too. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. a true statement. Or they say, you don't appreciate something until it's gone, right? So that's 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 also true because we sit up and complain about some of the shit that we go through, but we really we really it's always somebody doing worse, mm-hmm. right? And you and you really doing all right. So I had a good life and I had a good situation, and I don't think I always appreciated. What 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 I had? So yeah, that's that's all me. Hmm. If you had an opportunity, would you fix it or it's just? No, I no, I think I think that that I think that that time is um unfortunately um that that time passed, you know, because people individually need to to grow, to need to heal, and shit like that, because. It's a lot of shit that I was doing that may be toxic to somebody else. You see? So mm. just putting a band-aid over it is not gonna work. So sometimes mm. you gotta you gotta fix yourself or work on certain things about yourself that'll make you better so that you could be around somebody else the right way. Cause you just want you would just want your cake, you want to everything moving. <laughs> yeah, this nigga here. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. You wanna just you know, settle that you can control yourself basically. Grown ass man can't control himself. Is that what you think it is? Nah, you I respect you. That? I respect them. No, saying. you don't respect. Oh, don't say that. I don't respect I re- nothing. I respect what? Is that what you think? Don't do me like that. I know you are gonna go with this. Don't do me like that. Hmm? You, let's move on because you you gonna start. Listen, it's alright to be lonely, man. 
now where's this? Where, where's the lonely <laughs> shit coming at? Cause I just feel like you know you back. If I was just if if I was just in a relationship for what three four years, where where's the lonely shit coming? At? I mean, now you're not in a relationship anymore. You know, you out here moving like Samurai Jack. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's a lot of things going on, man. You know, you sent me a text message that was impressive. There you go. You always putting it on here that you ain't supposed to be putting on here. But go ahead. Keep on I didn't say nothing. Because you violated me first, nigga. You, you violated me first. You, you violated me first. And the thing is, I just want you to be happy. And... You know, I'm, is I'm that what you really care date. about, though? Yeah, I'm going to send you some blind dates, man. Nothing. Don't worry about that. Say what? I'm going to send you on some blind dates. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, lonely and <laughs> man. It's okay. I, you know, we all we all was at blind, that stage. Blind, though? Yeah, look, 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 look at this. Confront Queen Flip about being a hater. Oh, See, look, look, and look who's in that. Look who's in the video. Oh, yeah. Look. Sucker nigga going to do that to me. Look, sucker. You know who's in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good, bro. It ain't good. You try to, you know what I mean? You said some things to me and I need you to take that back publicly. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna take that back. <laughs> now, I, I, want you to, I want you to say that it was all a, it was all a between, because that's that's my friend. And I want you to I say- don't, I don't really, I can't take it back publicly publicly because I kind of believe it. It's nah, like, nah, it was all, it was all, a, no, it was all part no, of a- uh, We might as well leave that there. Yeah. All right. It was, all, well it it was all part of a stunt that we put together and that's it. Nah, it is what it is. You got a good co-host, bro. You lucky niggas gonna come over here and snatch that motherfucking hat off your head, son. <laughs> For real, you got Ooh. a good, you got a good dude. That you you really this you really run this show. He do. You he really do run the show, G Money. He's the man. Thank but th that doesn't change the fact that <laughs> I want you to change what you said. He's the man. That's my man. I'm I know. Not, I, I can't. Change I want you to take I that said. back and say, you know what, Flip? I was just joking on Instagram Live because they got these videos on Instagram on YouTube. Who, who, who posts that up? I don't mean, you know, fans. And I told you about that. This is the first one, nigga. So I need you to take that back right now. Like, you know, Flip, it was a joke. And let's move on. If you don't, then what? what's going to happen? Nothing's going to happen. Man. No, uh, I'll never cross that line. I, like, I, I knock like him outside. That. I knock him outside. <laughs> not, 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 not like that. I'm just saying. What, you, what, right, what's so going to so happen look, if you look, take for it? Me to, for me to take it back, this is what, uh -oh. this is what you got to do for me. All right, cool. Come on live tonight with me with your hat off. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. If you I, do that, then you'll take it back. Yeah. Everything you say, you, you admit that yeah. that was a joke. It was yeah. something put together. Yep. Yep. What? Yeah. What you just said. No, no. I, I want you to say it. I want you to repeat I'm it. Going, I'm going to say that. that. Crazy. You're going to say what? What you just said. Man. No, 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 no. Because I know you. <laughs> I know you need to say it. Okay. When you after you wear that hat, no hat. I mean, after I'm not you, taking my hat off, nigga. Then it ain't nothing to talk about. All right. It ain't nothing to talk about. You know, I think I, re I, re I really got a lot of love for you, man. And, um, you know, I definitely, you somebody who I respect in this business. But I'm going to have to put you in your place one day. And One day? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put you in your place one day. Not and, today? No, nah, nah, not today. Not today, because he's my today, man. Not today? <laughs> I, was, I was thinking like, damn, this nigga put me, in, put, me, put me in my place today. I was thinking that. Do you, do you, is there anything that you regret? that you've done that you wish that you could have fixed or not do it in retrospect like I shouldn't have did that nah 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 anything that anything that I done I, that I learned from <clears throat> any loss that I that I that I that I had I learned from so those are all wins. Anytime you're able to still walk away from something mm. with your with your health and your freedom, you're still winning. Uh, so earlier you you mentioned that when you were younger, you didn't have any aspirations to do anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No kind of rap career that was in your mind. Right. Now that you're here, like, do you have anything else that you look forward to doing now, like in the future for for Mano? Shit, man, I'm doing a lot, bro. I got a lot of shit going on, man, outside of rap. I'm trying to man. I'm trying to get. He trying to retire rapping in, in a few seconds. Mm. Um, so I got a lot of lot of lot of stuff in um, a lot of stuff I'm working on on a, on a on a production side, and I talked to you about it. Yeah, you know, um, 
I don't want to talk too much about it because it was something that I was out here promoting that I see a couple of people trying to steal. Mm, yeah. But I will say I just did a deal for it. It's a production, uh, production deal for it. And um, yeah, I'm going to be wearing a couple of different hats. Okay. You know? Remember when, uh, now you didn't really talk about this, man. Um, it's two things, two last questions. Um, did you and yeah, Wack 100 ever square that out? This nigga here. What is a dumbass <laughs> question, man? Did y'all square it out, nigga? It's like, this is what I'm saying. You my nigga, it's like friends, nigga. Stop stop doing that, nigga. <laughs> it, it was nothing to square out, bro. What are you I, talking no, I, about, I, man? I, well, I read something that sounded crazy. All right, That's so, the problem. Stop reading sh I read what something from you, nigga, that you wrote, suck man, ass nigga. Shit. So you so you so everything is cool. My nigga, I'm I'm do I look cool? You don't look bothered. You never I really did, look bothered. You, you, got, go. you got chinky eyes, and nigga. You there can't you tell go. if you're bothered or not. We can't no. tell if you can see. We can't tell if you're up or sleep. I can't tell nothing, nigga. <laughs> you got slanted eyes, nigga. I can't tell shit, <laughs> nigga. I can't tell if you're tired, you up. I can't tell nothing. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Um, remember, a lot of people don't know this, but where they, where they do, because I just Googled it. Um, 50 had got mad at... This nigga ain't these stupid ass questions. It's Go not ahead. stupid, but you, we, yeah. 50 had got upset because you had liked the picture, you had liked the post of Mel Murder. Do you remember that? Mm hmm. And he had stated that, you know what he had stated. How did you feel about the situation at that no, time? No, what did he state? He stated that, you know, some people forget, you know, he had helped you get a deal or land a deal. Some people forget. Right. And your response was, I didn't forget. You were just liking the picture. Right, you're overthinking. Yeah, he said that he was overthinking. Right. Do you, like, what, do you, can you see why he got upset about that? You know, him and Coppo going back and forth. See, here's the thing. If you believe that everybody is in tune with what you got going on or what you're doing, then yeah. Right? If you believe that everything that you do, people are seeing, then yeah. If I... If I if I'm if everything that I'm doing on social media and I believe that you see it and you know everything that I'm doing, then yeah. But the truth is that's not that's not realistic. I, I didn't even know because see see the thing with that was tricky because I knew that they was they was going back and forth playing at first and then it, and then some other shit started happening. So. I'm a star nigga, bro. So when I saw that picture, it's all I needed to see. It's all I needed to see. Oh, shit. It's male murder. It's male matrix. Click. I didn't even... So so when, the, when his post came out about him helping me, which he did, he helped me get my deal with Atlanta. And as far as I'm concerned, me and him always was cool. We don't have no other reason not to be cool. But when, when I saw that post, I didn't understand what was going on. It took me like 10 minutes to understand what was happening. I'm just reading it going, it's like three, because people kept asking me, yo, what's up with you and Fifth? Y'all all right? What's up with you and Fifth? And I'm like, this, this is me. I'm seeing the thing, but I don't understand why. I don't understand what he what he trying to say. And then I went back and looked at the the the, uh, the picture that I clicked on, and then I read it. And then I went back and looked at some shit that he put up before, because I, I wasn't in tune with all that. I'm out here trying to get to what I'm trying to get to. I'm not in tune with, with everything, with all the back and forth. I'm not supposed to be, right? Now, if we cool, we cool. We ain't, if we cool, we cool. We got no other reason not to be. Unless, how could we not be? We ain't, we ain't in the street. Right? So as far as I'm concerned, we always had a, a decent relationship. And I'm not a nigga that throw rocks and hide his hand. If something's on my heart, something in my chest, I'm going to speak on that. I don't have no reason. What, what's the reason? What's the reason? What, what, what's the reason? We got way more money than me. They're doing way better than me. I'm, I need to be focused on me. Not on what another nigga doing or beefing or whatever. I don't got to go. Bro, I'm too much on my own dick. I'm too much on my own dick to be worried about 
what everybody going through. So I get where a nigga would, would think that because that's the way, that's the times that we live in now with social media. If you like some shit, then you look, it look like you, you co-signing it. It look like you, you basically, you cheerleading for it. And that's not always the case, but I get it. But it wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing, it wasn't nothing at all. You don't like getting in people's business, no? No, unless the business got something to do with me. Um, I don't know if you ever was asked this. Mm-hmm. It probably was, but I didn't see it. But I know you were there when it happened in Urban Plaza. Do you remember that? Of course I was there. It happened in the, the, the dressing room that me and Uncle Murder was sharing, yeah. So how do you feel about how that whole situation played out? <clears throat> as far as what? Like the whole situation between Tax and and Troy Ave, like, do you feel like it was not worth it? Do you feel like Nick, like, you know, how do you feel about the situation, or is it just something that's not your business? I can't, I can't. Um, it's hard for me to answer that question. Okay, because it's you know that 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 case is still going on. I respect that, right, cool. but um. So it's hard for me to really, really, really say how I really, really feel. Okay. You know what I mean? And not affect, you know, I don't want my, what my opinion is to affect or say something that I, I shouldn't be saying based around, you know, some, some people still having to go to court or trial about that. I understand. Um, but do I think, I'll tell you one thing, there's, there's a narrative being told out here. That ain't the truth. Hmm. But I'm gonna say that. You can't, you can't, you can't create the energy and then get mad when it don't go your way. It's your fault, bro. If 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 I'm supposed to be a good leader and I lead my people into into destructive environment, who follows it? Hmm. You put answers in the questions where it could be, you know, I got you, I got you. <laughs> well, you answered because it was good. You know, I don't know who who was regarding, you know, I don't know, but I was, uh, you're, you're very smart. You gotta, you're good. You gotta think. <laughs> you gotta think. Uh, I thought, I thought, <laughs> I, thought. Yeah, I thought. It's only one narrative being pushed out here. No, not, not necessarily. Okay. It's two of them. It's only one narrative being pushed, bro. And I'm gonna leave it like that. Respect. Right. Is there anything we didn't touch on today that you, you want to speak about before man, we, we wrap up? On, man. Shit, y'all talk to me about a bunch of old. Shit. I mean, we don't want to ask you the same question. Other, well, sh- other I get it, you know? but you ask me a bunch of old shit. So let's talk about new shit, nigga. You don't want to talk about new shit. Yes, I do. No, you know, we got kitchen talk, podcast. Got the podcast. podcast. Yeah, I know. Come on, man. That's nice. Kob. All that, but yeah. Nah, hold on. Kob. I not. Nah, I don't do that. I don't do it. I'll knock you off for that. You work hard for that name. Don't ever have play you, like that. Have you knocked somebody out? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Kitchen Talk, man. It's my new podcast. Um, When is this coming out? Um, right. Could we we drop clips. It's coming out soon. Very soon. You can say clips. When is this coming out, though? Soon. Nigga, don't worry. You can't talk Kitchen Talk. <laughs> Where's, it's available all, everywhere podcasts is, is at? Yeah. Okay. All right. Send me that link for these mics. <laughs> what about Kitchen Talk? No, it's my podcast in my own kitchen. Dope. Yeah. How'd I get started? Nah, I mean, when we went on quarantine, I was just like, damn, let's let's, let's take this time to do something. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I had always wanted to do, do a podcast, but, you know, it was just finding the time. So I found out, I was like, you know what? You just do one right here. Mm-hmm. Call us your kitchen talk. This is where I be at. I be hanging out in my kitchen. We might as well just do it in my kitchen. You know? And I shot three episodes already, so we don't we don't we don't get that thing popping. How was it okay? Who's your who's the co host? Oh <laughs> <laughs> somebody you know. 
My man Ricky, yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to Ricky, but somebody else you know. Who? So, yeah, the, the one that got away. <laughs> got away from who? Mm-hmm. Yep, got away. Got away from the, who? The one that, that the one that you had dreams of. I never had no dreams of nobody. I'm sorry. You got the you know you got the wrong one. Never who, who say who who is it? <laughs> you <laughs> sat me in that room right here. I actually told that, me watch, watch this man and told me watch that you, you had feelings for her. Never told you nothing like that. I never told you nothing like that. That was part. That, that was part of a a programming. That was part of a play. It wasn't part that, of yes, no it, program. Yes, it, it was. wasn't part of no play. Yes, I got Georgie on there with me. Shout out to Georgie. Yes, you know, shout out to Georgie. Good friend. Good friend. Your, your favorite tomboy. Shout out. You know, she's super dope. And um, and we just having real talks. You know, we just talking about different shit and life and you know and you know it's funny. It's humorous. It's, it's just it's just kitchen talk, you know what I mean? Niggas just kicking in the kitchen, talking, eating, whatever. And I wish the best for y'all and y'all podcast. Man, you got me and you got some shit too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I dropped yeah. out of that. I dropped out of that. What's up with y'all podcast? Buddy? What's up with that? I dropped it's out called, of the Justice It's called the Justice League. Uh, yeah, me and this nigga here. I heard about it. What, what's yeah. going on with that? What's I, I, up, I, I, man? Nah, yeah. I, dropped, I dropped out. You dropped out. Yeah. Ain't no dropping out. Because you try to, because you paint a narrative that I'm that blood in, blood out. I, I, once I'm in, nah, it yeah. don't work like that. Yeah. <laughs> once you win, you win. People yeah. said that to me in the street during during, during the protest. What? Blood in, blood out. Nigga, you know what it is, Brooklyn. I, I don't like shit like that. You can't paint that narrative. It's no blood in, blood out, homie. I don't want to be a part of that podcast anymore. You should be. It's a great thing. Justice League. You're trying to teach me about. How to accept things. I'm 85% of a real nigga in your eyes. So you're trying to yeah, give me that 15, 85%. That mm. 15% you need to work on. Yeah, because you have a handbook, a real nigga handbook. Yes? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You need to work on. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, you're 85. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you the other 15%. <laughs> you know the thing? Yeah, you're 85. You not, you not, you're not all the way there. You, mm. you, you got the, you, you got it. But we need to get you over that, over the hill. Nah, I'm good though. Nah, you think you good. The niggas allowed you to think that you was good. <laughs> and they can't allow me to do nothing, nigga. I'm from Queens, nigga. Watch your mouth, Why nigga. Why you so confident? Yeah. Because I am, because I'm that nigga. Wow, my... how you that nigga? Bitches don't f- <laughs> Oh, there you go. All right, that's one. Bitches <laughs> ain't fucking you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we going back to the. Nah, nah, nah. I'm married. You going back? You married now? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, though, bitches, bitches ain't flipping. They ain't even, like, stop it. <laughs> yeah, you know, stop you, it. You're alone. <laughs> I'm not alone, nigga. I go home and see a beautiful lady. You're alone, nigga. You go home and see a pillow. You suck ass, nigga. You go home and see those blue walls, nigga. Huh? You alone, nigga. Listen to the eight lonely. Huh? Is that, is you got that, a sad that, playlist, is nigga. That, is that is that huh? is that what you believe? Huh? Is you want to make up a believe? story that me and your co-host had some type of I had some type of feeling for like who's a weirdo? <laughs> Never. I can live with that. Yeah, I'm Queens Flip, nigga. You Queens mm. Flip, huh? You the you the the bro, boss, the broski. <laughs> that the hoes talk. That the hoes said you the broski, the brose. <laughs> you flip. Oh no, that's the bro. He's the bro. Yeah, you the bro. I've never been so? a bro. I've never been a bro. I can never be the bro. I've never been a bro. You're neither. always the bro. What they call you then? Oh, he can get it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that nigga. I've never been the bro. But I'll let you run with that. Go ahead. That make you I'm, feel I'm good, in, nigga. In, among other things. Oh, he can get it. He gonna get this. Mm. Mm. Like it's a different, it's a different, it's a different situation. Respect. It's a different situation. Respect. Yeah, respect. It's, a different, it's a different animal here. We know, we know. You yeah. know what I mean? Brose though. We, 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 we ran through a couple of few things. No, we ain't mm. ran through nothing. <laughs> we ain't run through nothing. You told me one situation where you you was offended uh, by, and that's that. I never said I was <laughs> we offended. Ain't by nothing. Stop lying. Stop playing these narratives. I never said I was offended. I said I it was saw a- her recently. She stripped. She was working in um uh, in um in a club in Atlanta. She was dancing in Atlanta. How's she looking? She looking good. She looking good. I might just double back. <laughs> I might double back and do it for you. <laughs> do, it, do it for Flip. Like, double he back could, what? He, he couldn't do this. Mm. You crazy, nigga. I had- <laughs> Yeah, you forgot. I put them. I put them things together, though. <laughs> you, I put them that's together. the only thing you I did. Lump, I lump them all in. I put them all in one. That's mm. cool. I put them all in. You, you on, man. out here on dates with them. I put them all. In Never, one. nigga. I put them all. The in. knee walker. They, no, they you know what that is, they, nigga? They, they huh? Even, the Walking Dead, nigga. Nah, nigga they knee can't, walker. They can't even. Come. Knee walker outside knee street walker. anywhere, nigga. Are you dumb? Who you talking to, nigga? The difference is this. Though, you nigga. Chinese looking nigga, huh? Free mouse, nigga. You suck Listen, up. The difference is this. They can't walk past the threshold without a friend. 
Mm, that's a good one. They gotta, come, it, I, gotta I, bring I, company, yeah. bro. Wow. They gotta bring wow, company. Wow, yeah. Speak, Round of applause for Maino. It's the difference. Yeah. The difference. So what? The difference. The we difference. ran through the same circles, and I respect that I salute no, you. No, he didn't. I co- <laughs> no, he didn't. We wasn't in no circle. Which no, we didn't. Re- yeah, I'm not doing this park. I'm not doing nothing with you, nigga. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the night, nigga. It's the first episode right here. This is the f- first episode, nigga. It's the first episode. You have a song out right now. Mm-hmm. I like it. I can't breathe. Mm-hmm. Thanks. You still got that bad cough, though. We still going to... No, I don't got a bad cough. You still, uh, uh, still congested. But yeah, I did a song based around... The, the AC um, is on. There's particles floating around because, you know... And, but, you know, it, your part... It, you see this right here? It's an aura around me, nigga. It's an aura around Your corniness can't get can't penetrate <laughs> through this shit, nigga. Huh? So yeah, like I was saying, out of here. You know who I am, D. Nigga <laughs> always asking, do you know who I am? For validation, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. no, we don't. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about no. I can't breathe, man. That's what you you should want to talk about that. Cause we don't know who you are. Actually, home no. That's who. That's who. Mm. You, you one of them niggas. You one of them niggas. Yo, you better ask such and such about me. I, I ain't gonna say you're right. I never yeah. even that's ne- that never been in my voc- vocabulary. Never in my year. Ask such and such about me. Respect. That never been in the paragraph that I ever writ, wrote, rap, talked, Can we... spoke, nothing. Oh, all this, all this voice notes came out. Whoa, man, she typed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm listening. But yeah, yeah. I did a song for the for the. You know, I was inspired. I was inspired by uh, by what happened with homie, and then he died on a Monday. I made that song Tuesday, and um, yeah, we put it out. It's out right now. It's available. So it's everywhere. Um, I can't breathe. Podcast lit. It's 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 out right now. So I'm gonna tell you right now because by the time this come out, so I'm gonna tell you it's out right now. Um, available at uh everywhere. Podcast is available. A lot of shit going on, bro. A lot of so the podcast is, is is available, but it didn't drop yet. I'm waiting to see the video. I've been waiting for a couple of weeks. I put up a little clip the other day, yesterday. Wait, really? on your Instagram? Yeah. Congratulations. See, did you see it? No, nah, I didn't. See, see, that's what I'm talking about before when I said, see, I will be, how can you believe that a nigga seen everything that you're doing? Or you're in tune with everything you But doing. I'm going to put you on to get better mics, nigga. Yeah, you should. I'm going to need better mics. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I got them boys. Mike. Your, your homegirl should have told you that. She been Ooh. around. She been around greatness before. <laughs> this is greatness. She know. You the same nigga in my sex room, but you. This is this is. Greatness. All right, man. You got any final question for this nigga? <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Same nigga. I waited. I waited. Same nigga. Don't do it. Same nigga. Same nigga. Same nigga. He cool, man. He, he cool. cool. He cool. Nigga. He cool, man. He cool. Cause he diss me. I like him, man. He cool, man. I know you like that nigga. Don't say it twice, nigga. He's corny, nigga. He can't see. Look, <laughs> that nigga's Asian, bro. That's his girl. That he got Asian eyes. He got a scar. He made everything work for him, nigga. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> I like this thing. Yeah, this guy make me laugh. You cute, man. I like you. You cute, man. I would say this, dog. I definitely, I want to say this publicly before you know we get up out of here. I definitely appreciate yeah. everything you know you do. You a good friend of mine. Damn, nigga, you put the whole. F- Mike in front of the fuck in front of the fucking camera. <laughs> oh yeah. So there we go. It's all right. This is this is this shit. You can edit it the way you want to, right? Nah, nigga. Why not? So bring that back. Bring that back. Move the mic. <laughs> Let me put the shoes on, nigga. Which one you want me to do? Because I was gonna stand in this. Nah, I'll do that. 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 <laughs> Alright, bring the mic closer, nigga. This nigga my son though, man. I'm never your son. I'm gonna appreciate you. I'm gonna tell you I appreciate you, man. You yeah, you ain't had no food in here for me. You ain't had no refreshments in here for me. You water, ain't had nothing water. in here. You you gave me a water. They give you they give you the same shit in the pens. Water. You don't drink. Or you do drink. I'm gonna give you a big drink. bottle of Patron to take home. Patron. You don't drink Patron? What else you got? Only Patron in here. No, we'll take that, nigga. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. We have some. Uh... Hey, yo, Jr. We'll have. We have. We'll have that. Jr. I give you a bit better, but I do want to tell you that you know I love you, man. You my man, man. I got a lot of love for you. I think that you know. Bring that big bottle of Patron for me. Big huh? bottle of Patron. 
Got a lot of love for you, and I appreciate who you are, nigga. And I wish you the best. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll still see you. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, free your brother. Free all the guys, man. Yeah, free all man. my brothers, man. Oh, that's that's the okay. Brother Mouse. Oh, that's the yeah. yeah. I'm taking that. Jeez, that's that Jr. On Jr. Yeah, that's Queen Flip Jr. I love you, boy. Yeah, Booby. Yeah, well, Queen Flip Jr. Yeah, we get this, huh? Yeah, that's a, yeah. Do that. It'd be nice to me, man. Justice League. Justice League coming soon. Nah, nah, nah. I, I dropped out of that. Shit. You was calling me Robin Hood. You got niggas putting Rob. You got niggas correlating how Robin and Robin Hood is related, nigga. And it these is. niggas born in different it times. Is. Like, it's like, no, they're not. Robin and Robin Hood. Robin is Robin Hood's son. That's what? a fact. You didn't know that. What? Look at his outfit. <laughs> He got them same little skip little fairy <laughs> shoes. <in. laughs> what? Yeah. Yo, yo, chill. Robin that be with Batman is Robin Hood, the nigga with the, 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 the bow and arrow. That's his son. That's no, his it's father. not. Shut it up. It is. It is. So I'm father and son, nigga? Basically, your combination of both. <laughs> <laughs> yo, squeeze for the man. Hey, yo, man, shout out to my man Steel, man. Shout, shout him out, out to my brother Steel. Yeah, hey, man. shout out to G Money. Shout out to Flip. This is your boy Mano. This is the first episode. <laughs> Oh, the Justice League, Mano, aka Superman and Batman, oh, featuring man. Lil Queen's Flip, aka Robin Hood. <laughs> you know, my guy G Money. You know, Queens get the money all the time. Yeah, we sign out G. Please. <clears throat> Yo, we signing out, man. Um, shout out to the homies from Persist Print in the building, holding out behind the scenes one time. You know and I'm saying appreciate y'all. Shout Michelle one time. Shout to Basco. Mighty two time. Um. I also did a I Can't Breathe situation in honor of George Floyd. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I, I got a little Freestyle Friday situation. So mm -hmm. I did a I did a beat. A bunch of artists rapped over the beat this, um, today, and I posted up. Uh, we, we posted the videos of them spitting to the, to the joint. So, oh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, all the people that's affected by that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, Make sure you follow the pages, man, at DJG1156, at Queens Flip with a Z, at Flip the Script Pod. Um, yeah, yeah. Signing out. That's Queen Flip, man. URLTV.tv. Yeah, that's Lil you know? Queen's Flip. That's my nigga, though. <laughs> Yo, no, 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 don't do that. Let me, huh? I, don't do that. Let me finish. Don't do nigga. what? Don't, don't do that. You nigga. gotta, don't, you can't just have these idle threats, bro. Nigga, nigga, I show you, nigga. I show you, man. I can tell you. We've been waiting for that. I, I, mm. I, right, let me finish. Yo, it's Queen's Flip, URLTV.tv, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, bro. Yo, follow me at Queen's Flip follow with Follow him, too. <laughs> Queens, Queens flip, Queens with a Z. Remember, lock your doors, close your windows, close your blinds, open your blinds. If you see a nigga like Maino on your lawn, don't be afraid to use a firearm from Queens. <laughs> 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 <laughs>